Hi, everyone. Yeah. We have Kathy here. Picasso cat. We're all here. We finally made it. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry for the technical difficulties. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to read. I'm here, so I see if I can see anything. Sorry, oh, great. Now okay. I see it. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, I Just make sure you turn your volume off on the computer or whatever. What, the lag is super bad. Okay. The lag is really bad today. Oh, Hi, Gabby. Hi, Hi Tricia. Hello, Thank everyone. You. We're so happy to have you guys. And I'm so happy to be doing a sale with Kathy. Kathy is one of the first people I met in this community. I feel like we're like sisters. Mm -hmm. uh, same taste, that's for sure. <laughs> we do. Same name, same taste. It, yep. was, it was kind of meant to be. Well, hello, everybody. I'm going to try to see if I can look at the chat. So if you see me looking down, that's what I'm doing. I'm not ignoring anybody. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We do that, too. Yeah, so, okay. Cool. Hi, Jose. I hope you realize what I was saying earlier. My husband pronounced your name correctly and he was very happy. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a beautiful name. I'm not even going to try it. <laughs> I would screw it up and probably irritate you. So. Oh, okay. Josie. Right, I see. Or Jose. Just from here, I can see Trisha. I see Jeannie, I see Daniel, Mary Dugan, I see Britt, I see Gabby, uh, Jose, Dean, Diane, Yvonne, Angela. If I missed anybody, hello. I just, I'm just going to know what I saw in the chat really quick. Yeah, that's awesome. There is a huge lag tonight. I noticed it before we even went live, so... If you guys see something that we don't see, definitely don't be shy. Let us know. Like put it in caps because it, it really is laggy today. I don't know. What's up with YouTube lately? I, I don't know. Yeah, that is I don't either. <laughs> well, I guess we could start. Mind it yeah. Angela, I hope you get some sleep tonight, honey. Oh, no. <laughs> I was about to ask Gina if she wanted to go first. <laughs> I wait up somebody's coming in, so my, now my dog's going to bark. <laughs> I told Kathy how beautiful her wallpaper was when I first saw it. <laughs> it is very pretty. It's I love it. <laughs> I'm in my grand. She'd be talking about her room right now. Uh oh, I'm getting. Uh oh, let's see. I forgot to turn off the alerts on my phone. No, oh, that happens to me too. Thank you, Daniel. Please thumbs up, everybody. Thank you, Yvonne. Well, I'm going to let Gina do the honors tonight. Oh, Jeannie says it's nice to see Kathy in person. Oh, thank you, Jeannie. Okay. All right. I think I'm ready. Uh, you're going to be just fine. Yeah, you're going to be fine, Kathy. We can't hear you, Gina. All right. I've got teenagers coming through my house oh. making my dogs bark. So I'm trying to tell them to get out of the way. <laughs> so... For my first item, I am going to do these grapes. They're like the faceted kind, you know. I don't think that they're glass. I think they're like a loose side or plastic kind of thing. But I just thought those would be kind of cool sitting, you know, on a table or even in a dish or a bowl, whatever. Cool. They're kind of dangly if you want to hang them up. <laughs> what, is it, um, what is it, Daniel? What do you call your uh, your berries? Oh, <laughs> dingleberries. Dingleberries. <laughs> There's a bunch of dingleberries, Daniel. <laughs> but do you know what they are? Huh? You, you know, know what, what, dingle what dingleberries are? <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Okay. Yeah, but I'm not going to talk about it. I'm talking about grapes. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Sorry about my phone there, y'all. So anyway, I like it. It's like kind of autumnal colors, but a lot of people still just have this color in, you know, in their house and everything, but it does have like the greens and stuff that you can take it in the spring. But I'm going to do the set of grapes for $5 number 19. I know teenagers. Oh, it's a constant. My house is just like a train station. Just the door revolving constantly. People just. I did change my nails today. You want to see them? I can show them to you. I went matte. Oh, I love them. Look, you're you're jeweled. I am. I'm bejeweled. I'm bedazzled. Did you do it yourself? I did. You did a great job. But I went for the matte. I don't really like the matte, but with this little sparkle on it, I kind of do. If it's just plain matte, I wouldn't have liked it that much. But Okay, so uh, next, some of you have seen this before, but I thought we had a few people in here that weren't in here last time, so I was going to show it again. And I think I dropped the price, but anyway. Uh, it's the Al Trivet. This is metal. It's made to look like stained glass, but it's not actually glass. It's like a like a poured epoxy kind of stuff in there, but it's colored. And I'm doing it for eight dollars number four. I still love him. Well, Belinda, I'm sorry about the internet and phones, but are you having bad weather? Oh no. I, there's something going on, I'm telling you. I don't know how I'd live without internet and phone. I'm <laughs> just saying. <laughs> I think I think my world would collapse. <laughs> and Gina Angela would like the trivet. Okay, Miss Angela, I will put you down for that. And that was my two. Okay. Kathy, do you want to go next or do you want me to go? Um, I'll go next. Might as well jump okay. right in. <laughs> you got this. Like I said, you're a natural. Oh, right. <laughs> All right. Hold on. Jeannie, I did not get you for number 19, but I got you now, honey. I'll write you down. Sorry. I, I missed that in the chat. Did y'all see in the chat that uh, Jeannie wanted number 19? No. Oh, my gosh, this chat. Guys, if we don't, if I don't tell you that I got you for a number, make sure you tell me again in the chat because for some reason some of the chat's not showing up. So I apologize, but thank you for saying that, and I'll put you down, honey. Yes, please correct us if we're wrong. I'm so sorry, Jeannie. I now see it on my phone. Yeah, it's a super lag. Yes. Wow. Okay, you ready for me? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, my first item is this. I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's a, a toad or a frog. Is that what you guys Ooh. said that to you? Yeah, it looks like a frog, right, Gina? Uh, it looks very like, um, almost looks like, like a, when I first thought, I thought it was a hippo. But the way the legs not, are. I think it's a frog or something like that, but it looks very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like primitive. Yeah, or yeah. tribal. Yeah, tribal primitive looking. I love it. I do too. It was made in the Philippines. And it just says not for food use. So I don't know if it's like a little planter or or just a trinket dish. It's quite big. Um, I actually got my ruler. Let's see. It says about, it's almost nine inches long that way. Um, I don't know what else to say about them. But he is wood, and he looks like it's hand-carved. And it's going to be $12, number 92, if anybody's interested in this cool little carved frog. Is Thomas in the chat? I don't see him. He could use that for, you know, like, to, to get all the evil spirits out of his house, do some kind of, you know, <laughs> some kind of ritual. <laughs> He's really cool. 
Yes, Sage. Yeah, I thought he was different. Really cool. I love him. The best. Well, somebody who said that, Jose said it could be a crocodile. Really? I Maybe. Know. I don't know. The back legs look <laughs> kind of. Crocodiles have. Um, yeah. 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 It's like a long frog. It's really, really strange. It's whatever animal you guys want it to be. <laughs> okay, so there's that. Um, again, it's $12, number 92, if you're interested. Okay, and then the next item I have is this really cool, and I, I don't know if it's vintage. I don't know if this is handmade. But look at this owl. Oh my goodness. This stuffed owl. But he's got those little um like wooden buttons for eyes. Those like vintage buttons. Oh my, he is gorgeous. And this part is like crocheted wool around his eyes. And then part of his wings are crocheted, but he's all stuffed. I just think he's absolutely adorable. He's pretty good size. He's about that big. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, he has some good weight on him for being, you know, for being a stuffed thing. Um, this is felt right here, the tail. But he's super cute. I thought, oops, I do have to get used to this. Okay. And it's going to be $15, number 60, for this adorable owl little what you call him, stuffed owl. He's so cute. He I is love very cute. <laughs> the eyes are amazing. And that's my two. That would be so cute sitting mm -hmm. on a shelf with your other owls next to it and everything. Do like a whole owl collection right there. That would be so cute okay. in the background because it's so big. Yes. I've had on the shelf for about a year now and I decided it's time to let him go. Aww. He is very cute. He's so cute. Are on your couch, one of your, uh, what I call the Grady Square quilts, that would be cute, too. Oh, yeah, it would. Yeah. What is that called? Cottage core, kind of, maybe? I may be wrong on that. I don't know. <laughs> you know better than I do. <laughs> I don't know. I can't keep up with all the, the hipster trends. Okay, so I'm going to do some Mexican pottery. I have these fish salt and pepper shakers. And these are Talavera. They're not Tonala. They're Talavera. And they have the cutest faces. Look at them. They're both, <laughs> they're both in great shape. They, Do you they remember have, that? Um, what was it? Mr. Limpet. That's what it reminds me of. Do you remember that old black and white movie with Don Knotts that did the voiceover, Mr. Limpet? Oh, yeah. It's, all, it's an old time ago. A long time ago. <laughs> I know Don Knotts, but I don't know that movie. How do you not know that movie? Well, Gina? You're going to have to go look it up now. One of the fish has this. I will look it up. One of this fish has um, a man in his sombrero taking a nap and a cactus on the other side. And this other one just has like these really pretty blue. Like, they kind of look like peacock feathers to me. I'm sorry, I have a new phone and it's going off even though I muted it. So I clearly don't know how to work my new phone. But uh, Katie's premiering right now. <laughs> so I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to have to put it in the other room or something. But these are in great shape. There is no damage to them at all. And they're going to be $16 for the pair of these fishies. They're so cute. That's your <laughs> I know their faces make me happy. <laughs> so Kathy, Rick, Rick's critique of me and Gina was we don't hold up our cards long enough. So I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to be better. <laughs> no pressure for you at all. Cause I used to do it really fast. Cause I, it just takes a while to get into the groove, but I'm trying. Okay. So this is Belinda was number 53. Okay, thank you, Miss Belinda. I'm glad they're going to you. They're so cute. I have this really pretty. Now, this is Tonala style. It is not marked Tonala. It's marked Mexico, though. 
and it, it's definitely the same style. It has a really pretty butterfly on the top here. And this is a jar. It looks like it's never been used. There's no wear on it at all. It's actually in really good shape. I don't see any, any wear age to it at all. I don't think it's vintage, but I could be wrong. I'm going to take the, the top off so you can see it a little better. I think that the top is so beautiful. I love the Tonala butterflies. I just like that design. Mm -hmm. So pretty. I think I measured it. I did. It's four inches wide and three inches tall. So it's about this big. And it's fifteen dollars, number fifty-one. You could put it in your kitchen to store things, like maybe sugar packets or something, or it could be your stash box. I don't know if books in here, but wasn't it book that kept calling things a stash box? <laughs> <laughs> I think it was book. Who's lurking? Okay. I'm lurking. <laughs> I'm not, out here lurking. <laughs> you should be twerking with your new nail. Yeah, okay. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that ain't happening. Uh, <laughs> um, well, I have two seconds. Debbie, can you give us an update on yourself, please, miss? Oh, yes. And I'll go ahead and show stuff while you're doing that. But I kind of want to know what's going on, if there's anything new. So, oh, okay, she's doing pretty good today. Found out a friend might have had a stroke. What's next? She's in the hospital. Like this one, though. Wow. Well, let us know how you're doing. Have the doctors told you anything new or scheduled you or done anything? Keep us up to date, please. All right. So I have got this. Uh, Art glass paperweight is, they call them, you know, an aquarium. Hopefully you can see it. It's got the little fishies in it, orange and blue and white, and there's a little bit of yellow in there. Oh, that's cool. It doesn't have a maker on it. It does have the smooth bottom. Um. It's about this big, but I thought it was kind of cute. I always like the aquarium ones that have the fishes in them. I think it's really cute. I wonder why, but anyway, <laughs> I'm doing it for $15, number three. And I can't, here's the number so you can see it. You know, I have trouble with that. Fifteen dollars, number three for the little paperweight, and I have got a piece of glowy glass. It's the I don't know what this pattern is. It's kind of the plain. It's just got the bars that kind of go up at each side there. This is like a salad plate size. I would say, or a small like luncheon plate. It's about this big. <laughs> I like this style. I do too. It's very, um, it's very kind of like simple. So it would go with a lot of dishes. And yeah. like I saw the other day, Misty was saying, you know, use your stuff, use your uranium glass stuff. I agree. If you have it, use it. Mm -hmm. But again, it's going to be hard to show the glow on here, but hopefully you can kind of see it. I think it shows better when you do it to the side like that. But it does glow really nice. Oh, yeah, you can see it. And I am doing it for $6, number 18. Okay. Now, I do have a few of these. So if you want more than one, that's fine. I can get you. I think I have three total. So you could just let me know if you wanted more than one of them. Or if you just want one, that's fine. And that is my two. 
Okay. You get to Kathy. Oh, okay. Hello. Back again. <laughs> it goes by fast, doesn't it? <laughs> all right, Dean, I've got you for number 18. You are all three. Yes, sir. I got you, honey. Okay, next I'm going to do this plate for this beautiful woman. I don't know who she is. It is from Bavaria. I can't really read anything else on the back except for the Bavaria on there. Um, I looked her up. Some people, uh oh, something keeps happening here. Um, some people say that it's uh, Queen, oh, I wrote it down, Queen Louise, but I don't know. I don't know who Queen Louise is. But it's a beautiful. Oh, little... Debbie, pay attention, Debbie. You wanted the royal stuff. Now, I don't know if you want it that old, but you know, you did want royal <laughs> stuff. There you go. Yeah, it has like um, this gold pattern all around. I don't know if you can see that very well. But I thought she was really pretty. And this is going for $10, and it's number 14. You want this pretty lady in your house? She's very pretty. I like her scarf. Yes. Debbie, you would like to get that? Oh, thank you, Debbie. Thank you so much. My first sale. Yay! 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 <laughs> Debbie, you did her first sale. You popped her. <laughs> I, will, I won't continue. <laughs> Okay, and then um, the next item, I'll reach over here. My husband says I'm going to knock over something because I have this all on the table in front of me. Um, I have this elephant. He's got tusks and he has, his trunk is up for good luck. He's so big. I don't know. It's not too big. He's cute. Not Mark, so I don't know. I don't know who makes them. I think it's Japan, but I'm not really sure. He has a little pink on his ears, um, and he is going to be ten dollars. Oops, do it this way. Is that better? Okay. This is so awkward. Ten dollars, number seventy-nine. Hey, Miss Rebecca. Hi, Rebecca. Okay. The next item I have today is this little geisha. And she is like in a, oh my gosh, a display. I, why can't I remember what these are called? A cloach. Thank you. It's a cloach. I hope you can see without the glare. She's got a really cute face. I just thought she was really special. I'd never seen, never seen one like this. She's in really good shape. The closest is plastic. There is a little, you know, I can't even see it. There's kind of like a little bit of a scuff right here. But, I mean, you could probably fix that with a Sharpie if you, if you wanted to. It's not major at all. I'm trying to get her pretty face to show. It's really hard with the with the glare right there. There we go. There's a lot of detail on this little doll. And she is going to be $9, number 48. Hi, Christina and Tammy. Okay. My next item, I actually have three of these. And I thought if, if more than one person is interested, you can pick which one you want. Debbie, I will definitely do that, honey. Oh, yeah. We will definitely make sure um, if, if Kathy needs anybody's information, we can send it along. These are like old new stock from the 70s and they're tissue holders. They actually have tissue in them. 
they have a really old sticker. You know what, Kathy? I think this might be pick and save too. No, it's four peanuts. I've never heard of that store either, but they each have a different animal on them. And you know, they're to go in your purse or in your car, wherever you would need, you know, portable cleaner. Okay. But there's a dog, there's a bunny. And then the last one, this is probably my favorite one because it's a cat and a mushroom. The cat's looking at that mushroom like, what the heck is that? <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I think it's why it's my favorite one. <laughs> They're going to be $6 each. And if, if you're interested, you could type in cat, dog, or bunnies. Or, of course, if you want all three, you can do that, too. I'm sorry. It's hard for me to hold them all up at the same time. I just think they're really cute. I think they're suede. I haven't opened the box. But Miss Belinda wants the cat one. Okay. You got you, Belinda. Does anybody want the puffer? It's like a terrier, I think. Does that have a strap on the back of it? No. No, on the back of the holder. You mean if I open it up? Yeah. Can you open it? Oh, okay. It's the first time I've opened it. It is. It's kind of like a suede material, although I don't think it's, it's real huh. suede. Yeah, I thought it was really interesting. <laughs> the Kleenex, you can tell it's like the old logo. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. I just thought they were neat. I'd never seen anything like them before. And then there, there is a bunny too. But I think Belinda is the only one interested, which is fine. I just thought they were cute. Those are cute. Okay, back to you, Miss Gina. All right. I have a set of two. Um, these are cut crystal cruets. Say that three times really fast. <laughs> cut <laughs> crystal cruets. Hopefully, I can. Hopefully you can kind of see the design, the pattern on there. It goes all the way around the bottom. And it's just kind of like these panels that go up. And it does have, you know, the ground stopper. It is crystal as well. Instead of like a plastic or whatever. But I have a set of two of these. So you can put your oil and vinegar or, you know, tequila and lime juice or whatever you want to do. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought they were really pretty, fancy, bougie uh, crystal set. And yes, I know they're clear, but I keep telling you guys, you better start getting your clear stuff now because it's coming back and then you're going to be paying an arm and a leg for it. I think so too, Gina. So I, I just thought they were really pretty with the cut work in them and everything like that. And they're about this big. They're a little bit, about as tall as my head. <laughs> but they're in good condition. There's no chips or anything on the stoppers, as you can see. I mean, it, they're ground right here, of course, but there's no chips or anything. The tips are on there really good and everything. So I'm going to do the set of two. I can get it back where you can see both of them. The set of two I'm going to do for $15, number seven. And then my next item is going to be, I have a Fenton egg. And I nearly kept this for myself. I'm not even going to lie because it's blue. And it's the pulled hobnail design. So pretty. Really good condition. No chips or cracks. Oh, I love that color. So this is kind of a bougie Jeff egg. 
<laughs> Hi, Katie and Carrie. I'm sorry if I didn't see you come in. How many you see that? See they how they kind of come to a point they're not the rounded off like hob, the hobnail like you normally see, you know? These kind of are pulled to a point, which I think is kind of cool. Um, but I'm going to do the Fenton egg for $12, number 23. And that's my two. Okay. And Gina, Angela would like to know when is your egg coming? <laughs> the Gina egg from last night, I think. Oh, I can show some Gina eggs. <laughs> I got Debbie for that first. Thank you, Debbie. Okay. Uh, my next item is going to be this little donkey or mule. Oh, oh yeah. my God. There's no markings on him, so no. If he's Japan, I think he's Japan. It's really cool. I just love the colors on him. Now, he has these holes. There's two holes on the top. And there, there's two holes over here. Here. And on the other side. I almost think that it has something on, over it. Maybe um, like a little saddle that went over it and then had salt and pepper shaker. I don't know. Oh, yeah, something. maybe. You know, I bet you're like, right, Kathy. Might be missing something. I don't know. But anyways, I'm offering this little guy up for oh, four, oh, shoot, I got all mixed up again here. So he's $14. And he's number 71. For this cute little His donkey. face is adorable. Hey, cute. I just thought he was so yes. sweet. Whoops, there we go. I almost thought about keeping him. But I can't keep everything. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so hard. <laughs> so that's that little guy. Okay. And then my next item. I think I'll go with this little kitty cat that I showed you earlier. This one, she's it's pretty good size. It was a home project, hobbyist piece. Um, it's dated 1965 on the bottom. Um, I'm, I'm, I'll read, well, here, I'll show you what the bottom is like. So it was made in 1965. And somebody wrote on the bottom, uh, Mom's Cat Cricket, made by Mom's nurse friend, who gave Cricket to Mom. And I thought that was just sweet. It is. Oops, sweet little kitty cat. And, oh, this one is going for $12. And it's trying to, um, Gosh, I can't even see anymore. 97. Cricket's eyes are so pretty. So pretty. And I just love that sweet little. I love when, when you get personal notes on these items. I do too. I that was just so sweet what they wrote at the bottom. But it kind of made me <laughs> sad that it ended up, you know, at Goodwill or somewhere. So Right, exactly. Yeah. So those are my two items. Okay. Okay, hey, y'all. My next item is this ceramic. I believe it's a quail. It does have uh, one of the older Made in Japan stickers here on the bottom. There are no chips or scratches on this bird. He's in really good shape. I thought the color was unique. You know, it's kind of got this texture on it, so you can see the the different layers of feathers. It it could be a different bird. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know much about Japanese birds. It looks like a quail to me though. I just thought he was really cute. And he's about this big. And he is $10 number 54.
I see book. Hi, book. We were just talking about you. And it was all good. Belinda, I'm feeling better right today. Thank you for asking. Okay, here comes the cute cuteness overload. Oh. I feel like he's let me try this. My camera here. does not cooperate. Um, this is a leptin piece. And it it's kind of rare. I believe there were two in this set, and the other um the puppy is kind of looking up. And they both have a ladybug on them. Um, his this is a ladybug right here. It has the remnants of a sticker here, but it's the shape of the sticker is still there, but the words are long gone. I have not found any damage on this puppy at all. He has um, spaghetti ears. He's got a little bit of a spaghetti comb over, I guess, here. I oh, know that's an eyebrow. What am I saying? Um, he's so cute. And it depends on the angle that you look at, at this. For the longest time, I thought the bug may, may have been scratched, but it's not. If you look at it from the side, it's just the way it was made. He's, he's so stinking cute. I, honestly, he's in such good shape. It, it shocked me when I found him. You know, a lot of the times they'll be discolored or they're, you know, Spaghetti's missing or they have a chip, but he has nothing wrong with them. Yeah. Any stickers long gone on the bottom too. But I left this on here because I thought somebody might actually still want that sticker there. I'm sure it would come off pretty easily. And this guy is a little pricier because he's rare. He is $21 number 47. Just so cute. <laughs> Spaghetti comb over. Yes, Rebecca. But is it an eyelash? I mean, an eyebrow? I think it is. He is precious. He's so sweet. <laughs> Eyes are looking at that. Yeah. Movie or whatever that is. And Tammy, I'm sorry I missed all of your sale tonight. I haven't missed your sale in a while. Oh, Belinda wants that. Thank you. I do see that now. Okay, Gina. All right. Well, since Angela brought it up, I'll go ahead and show it. Oh, yeah. I Gina eggs. <laughs> they got their cute little ducky feet. Oh, you know, and they've got little egg cups. There's no maker on the bottom. Um, I'm trying to remember. One of them is this one. On the back, there's like a little divot out of it. It's hard to see unless I hold it sideways right there. It's just like the very edge came off right there. But otherwise, they're in perfect condition. So the two little Gina egg, egg cups, which are about this big. They can walk away. Uh, are going to be six dollars, number thirty. I know they're not as bougie as the Jeff eggs, but they have a lot of personality, so that's why they're Gina eggs. They they're do. a little quirky, and they have personality. <laughs> <laughs> they're a lot like you, <laughs> exactly. So they're quirky and strange. <laughs> Hi, so Debbie. In a little way, delightful every once in a while. I don't know why. But. <laughs> and then I have um, this brooch right here. Let's see if I can show it. It's kind of like a pearl looking stone in the center with the gold that wraps around it. Kind of reminds me of like a thistle, the way it does it. I don't know why. But this wraps around all the way. This is an older piece. Um, I'll show you the back of it. I don't see any maker's mark on it. But I hadn't looked at it through the loop either. So that's the way the back looks. 
but it is a nice big chunky piece. And it's about this big. And I am doing it for $8, number 25. And that is my two. Okay. Back to Kathy. Oh, can I say one thing before you start? I'm sorry, I meant to say this when I started. Uh, book, if you can send me your uh, information, I didn't get it, honey. So if you can send it to me from the last sale, so I can send you the invoice, sorry. And book, I got you for the brooch. Oh, and Kat, I don't think know if I gave you my uh, email address. Oh, I, I don't think I don't think you did either. I can type it into the chat if you want me to. Okay. Do you want me to? Um, well, I could probably, or well, if, let me type. It. I don't know how to do the link, but I can um, type in what it is. Let's see. Okay. And and I think I can pin it, or maybe one of the mod. I don't know if a mod can pin or not. Let me see. Let's see if I do this. Okay, I put it in the chat. Oh, it came out weird. It's Picasso Cat Two at Yahoo.com. Okay. For some reason, it has a cat on mine. Oh, it let me pin it. Yay! Oh. I'm sorry, I didn't think of that, Kathy. I should have told you I uh, when you. Of it. Yeah. That's okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Are you ready for me? <laughs> Yes. Okay, the next <laughs> item I have is this really cute mug of this cat. I don't know if it's vintage or anything. It doesn't have any mark on the bottom. So I don't know who makes it, but it's a really, it's kind of a heavy cup. It's all glaze. It's pink on the inside. It's a really pretty blue. And this uh, cat is kind of like indented in there, and it looks like it's I think it's hand painted. I'm not really sure. But I thought it was really cute. And that's going to be $10. And it's number 80. It almost looks like Odagiri to me. Yeah, it does almost look like Odagiri. Mm -hmm. That's a nice mug, nice guy. Mug. It's really it's cute. Pretty. It's a, you know, it's not huge, but. <laughs> It's really heavy. It's well made. It's really very pretty. That is a very nice mug. Mm -hmm. So there's that. And oops. $10 and 80 for that. And then the next item I'm going to do, let's see. Oh, what should I do? Um, I'm going to do this. this. is not vintage. This is actually made in China, but I thought it was really cute. <laughs> so I picked her up. For some reason, I've been getting a lot of mermaids lately. I don't know why. It was like almost every time I go thrifting, I pick up the mermaid. And I thought she was cute. She's um, so cool. This, her uh, fin is, um, has like a little sparkle to it. You can't see it on here. The dolphin is glazed. It's all glazed. But I thought for a china piece, I thought they did a pretty good job on it. So for sure. Her. I know. <laughs> That's kind of cute. It's so, so stinking cute. But it does have china. Usually I skip china items. But since it was so cute, I picked her up. Oh, I dropped my number. And this little gal can be yours for eight dollars, and it's number eighty-three. Something should be cute in a bathroom. Or... Yeah, definitely. So there she goes. It's so well made. It definitely doesn't look like made in China. I know she's really cute. So that's my two items. Oh, and Debbie would like that, Kathy. Oh, Debbie, thank you so much. She's really cute, really, really cute. Okay, guys. My next item is, is this bracelet. It is silver toned. And the stones 
look to be turquoise, but I don't believe they are. It is really high quality though. There, there's no marking on the inside. I picked it up just because turquoise is so popular still. And I it, love turquoise. it's a little bit bendy, so it should fit anyone's wrist. I think it's really, really pretty. There's no wear or damage to it that I could see at all. And it is $15, number 38. See, Kathy, I still have trouble with the camera, too. It's hard to figure out. Okay. It is. It's very strange. It is. You know what, Debbie, since you're here, I'm going to show this. I found this a few weeks ago, but I didn't want to offer it because you hadn't been here. And yesterday I didn't have it handy. But this is Limoges. And it is Prince Rainier and Princess Grace Kelly. It's probably not picking up very well. I found it, you know, after we had our challenge. <laughs> Debbie had asked for royalty. You know, it's funny when I picked it up, I thought, you know, this is an ashtray. First of all, it doesn't look like it, it's ever been used. But what's really funny about it is, can you imagine like putting ashes out on Grace Kelly's face? Like, it just seems so strange really? to me. <laughs> that would be horrible. <laughs> Why would you want to do that? Um, I'm trying to remember exactly. Uh, it does have Limoges France on the back, and it also has the, the separate stamp down here because a lot of times, um, you know, Limoges, the porcelain is imported, and then the and hand painting is done here in the state. But it is in really good shape. It is probably... Um, 14 karat gold, or is it 12 karat gold? I can't remember which is in porcelain. But I'm pretty sure it is. I just thought this was really special. So I picked it up. And it's going to be $15, number 59. I'm so sorry, guys. I can't. I know to me this is like a, a piece of history, you know. Yeah, you're right, Gabby. Twenty-two. I'm glad you're here to tell me that. Debbie's picking that up. Yay, Debbie! I thought you would appreciate this. I think it's really special. Okay, back to Gina. Okay, I don't know what I want to show this. <laughs> But here we go. Oh, no. <laughs> it's nothing scary. It's just I got to back up so I can show it. All right. I have this Westmoreland piece of milk glass, and it's large. It's quite large. It's the pedestal candy compote. So, as you see, it's a nice size piece. It has got, I'm going to take the top off so I don't break it. It is the paneled grape pattern of Westmoreland. Really nice, large piece. I know they do have one that's like a little tiny one about like this, but this is the big one. Um, if I had my tape measure, I would tell you how much how big it was, but I don't have it here, of course. So without the lid, it's as tall as my head. That's so cool. cool. It is in perfect condition. There is not a chip, a scratch, a nothing on here. It looks like they bought it all those, how many ever years ago, and set it on a shelf somewhere. It did have a little dust on it, which I took care of for you. I washed it off. But um, 
I know milk glass kind of is going back and forth right now. I did comp this piece out on uh, eBay and one other site online. And I'm not going to even present you with that price. So I am doing it for $25, number nine, for the large and in charge milk glass candy compote. It's amazing, Gina. It's a nice big chunky piece. This is like a statement piece of milk glass. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. It's like a centerpiece. Almost. And, yeah, it, and I mean, you could use it for like a pastel planner if you want to take the top off or, you know, whatever you want to use it for. I think it, I think initially it was meant for like a tall candy dish, a fancy candy dish. And Belinda would like to pick that up. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. And you're going to absolutely adore it. But clear out, you, clear you out a nice big spot for it. Because that thing is not tiny. I'm going to put you down for that. And then my second item tonight is the Fitton Bluebird. And see if I got some paper that I can put behind it so you can actually see. Hold on one second. Because this blue is not going to show through with the light the way I have it right now. So. All right. There you go. Now you can kind of see it. It's nice, big, as you see. He's a big bird. He does still have his Fenton sticker on the bottom. They've taped it on because I guess it was coming off. So somebody put a little piece of scotch tape on there so it wouldn't fall off completely. The only issue he has is he has a tiny little place right there on his underside of his beak that's been chipped. But from him just sitting there like this, you can't see it. But because he does have that little tiny chip and that's the only thing wrong with him. I am doing it for $12, number eight. He's so pretty. And that is my two. Okay. Hi, Martha. Rebecca, I got you for that one, honey. Thank you so much. Martha. Okay. My next item is going to be this, and I don't know if I pronounce it, Tanala, Tanala, how do you say it, Tanala? <laughs> However you want to say it. <laughs> I say it Tanala, but Tanala. I, might, I might not even be right. I've okay. heard Tanala, I've heard Tanala, I've heard, I've heard it every kind of way. Everybody knows what you're talking about, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's unique. I haven't seen that shape. Oh, and it has a dove. I don't wow. think it's a teapot. I would say maybe a coffee pot. That's no, very maybe. unique. I haven't seen anything like that. But the lid is a little bit like topsy turvy on it, but that's the way they are. Um, mm -hmm. They do have that Ken Edwards makes. It's not signed Ken Edwards, so I don't believe it's, it is his piece. But it's in perfect condition. No tips or cracks. Oh, how do I do this? No tips or cracks. And it does say Mexico. Um, it's hard to see, but it does say Mexico down. Ah, right there. I don't know if you can see that. But I thought it was a really pretty piece. I don't find, you know, I live in Arizona. You would think I would find this more often, and I really don't. Um, this is the first one I have found in a long, long time. Yeah. I, you know, I don't find it a lot here in Texas either. Really? It's weird. I know. I think I find it more in Florida than you guys do. <laughs> find it there. <laughs> <Me too. laughs> oh, but that's a like, good point. It could be a chocolate pot. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's ch chocolate pot. That could very well be. 
So this is going to be $24 and it's number 95. I just it's love that. It. It's so pretty. I've actually found this at a yard sale. I was really shocked. Wow. I want to go shopping with you so bad, Kathy. Oh, Miss, yeah, the yard Miss Debbie wants that. We would tear it up. <laughs> oh, Debbie, thank you so much. My biggest fan. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Debbie. I really appreciate that. Write this down. So don't forget. Okay. And then, um, what am I going to do next? I'm going to do this little. This, I do a lot of Avon. I know some people hate it, some people love it. I like Avon. So I'm going to offer this cute little Avon pin for brooch. It's really oh, small. No. There's a little Siamese cat. And it it has like a um almost like a luster bit on it. See that. I thought it was cute. And um, this is going to be six dollars, and it's number. Gosh, I can't even see anymore. Ninety-eight. <laughs> so six dollars ninety-eight. I need new glasses really bad. <laughs> I do cute, too. Cute little Siamese cat Avon pin. <laughs> that was my two items. Okay. And I believe I see Rebecca, but. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Um, Rebecca put in ninety-five, and then Belinda put in ninety-eight. So ninety-five was the tunnel of um, picture. Or... Okay. So I say Belinda for number ninety-eight. Okay. Well, thank you, Belinda. Okay. And speaking of Avon, I thought it would it was a good time to show her. Um, she is sweet honesty. Oh my goodness, you can't see that at oh, all. Okay. I remember. Sweet and she, honesty. she do, do you? I think I had this. My friend and I were talking about it. She said that she definitely remembered this bottle, and I think I had it too. Um, I'm trying to get her to focus a little bit better here. She is very, very 70s with her hair and her flowers. Um, if you like the perfume, it is almost full. Let me see if I can kind of show you on the back. It, it comes up to like right here. So I can ship it ground if you're interested in the perfume. Or if you just want her, I can get the perfume out for you. I think Avon's coming back. I keep saying it. Um, I just really, with the 80s revival, I think it's going to be part of that. But I think she's so pretty. Oh, she is her pretty. Hair, her hair is really sweet. And now, of course, I can't find her yet. Here it is. She is going to be $8, number 43. And then my next item is something completely different than that. I have this Shawnee planter. And this is a pretty big planter. It's a, a well. It's got, you know, this amazing Shawnee glaze going on. I particularly like the ivy detailing. It, it is on both sides. It is nine inches long and about six inches tall. It's about that big. <laughs> it is heavy. Um, and it is marked Shawnee here on the bottom. There is no damage to this at all. I don't think. I may have spoken too soon. There might be a little bit. I can't tell if it's. It might be under the glaze. There's something right here. 
but it's on the inside. I don't even know if you can see it. But other than that, it's in really, really good shape. And I don't, I don't think it was ever used as a planter. It's pretty clean. And the planter is going to be $20, number 52. It feels really quiet tonight. I, I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe because Gina and I are laughing at each other. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's me. I don't know. <laughs> no, no. Not at all. Okay. It's probably because I'm having allergies so bad that I'm just like, you know. My, I'm my trying to breathe. <laughs> I understand. Mine are bad today, too, but. I haven't had them like you have lately. It's Angela. <laughs> Hush it. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that must be what it is. I didn't think about that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I have, I'm going to see if I've got some paper to hold behind it because, again, it's hard to see. I need something to set it on. I'm going to use this little plate right here. I have this little glass elephant. If I can get him balanced up there so you can see him. He's just a little guy. But he's got a big old trunk sticking up in the air. He is proud of that trunk. Look at him. But it's just a cute little glass guy. I'll take him off there and just hold it up now. But I just kind of wanted to, because it's hard to show in your hands without getting your hands in the way. He's just a little guy. I thought he was really cute. And he is $6, number 28 for the little glass elephant. And then my second item is this milk glass vase. I'm not sure the maker on this. I didn't really look it up, but I like the design on it because it's got like this, it's almost like an arrow shape and then a dot, another arrow shape that goes down. So it's really textured, but it's still simple in design. And it's got like this scalloped edge along the top. So it's not really, it's not as, it doesn't come down as much to a point to call it like a trumpet base, but it is wider at the top than it is at the base. And it's about this big. So it's kind of a medium size. But I'm going to do that for $8 number 10. That is a pretty one. Like that. And that was my two. Okay. That too, Kathy. And Christina, I got you for that one, honey. Thank you. Okay. What do I want to do next? Okay. I'm going to do this. Um, another mermaid. This is not vintage. This is, but I think it's really, really pretty. And it's not really metal. I looked this up and it's actually a composite metal. Or, I'm not really sure what you call it. It feels like metal, but it's not. This is, I just think this is absolutely beautiful. It's supposed to be a soap dish. You could use it as a trinket dish or, you know, whatever you want it for. It's got two mermaids and that clamshell. Um, I love waist. that. Isn't that pretty? And you, it's hard to see, but um, this mermaid has like a little bit of a red tinge on her and this one has a little bit of a like a teal on her the original price is still on the bottom and it was 56.95 it's made by um summit collection arcadia california and i'm her for 20 dollars and she's number 89 
or they are 89. Let's see if there's two two mermaids. So pretty and elegant. So twenty dollars eighty nine. We're interested. And then the second item, Debbie again. Debbie, thank you so much. Oh, is that right? Maybe is it Debbie? I don't know. You guys gonna have to tell me. Yeah, I think Debbie came in before me. Okay. I don't, I don't see either one of y'all on my end. <laughs> <It's so weird. laughs> I'm pretty sure Debbie was in before me. Okay, and the next um, item I'm going to do is this little, and I'm pretty sure it's a ring holder. I put a little ring on there. I think it's a ring holder. It's a little kitty cat. And it's some kind of silver metal. I'm not sure what it is, if it's stainless steel or, and it has some weight to it for being so tiny. I mean, it's really small, as you can see. Long tail, it's got little um, rhinestone eyes, eyeballs. You can see that? That yes. is. Yeah. I love the angle, the neck is so cute. Cute. Mm -hmm. And then uh, it reminds me of those little long necks. Yeah. This one is $8 and it's number 77. For this cute little ring holder cat. And that's my two. Okay. And Jeannie, I'm so sorry about the lag. Rebecca wants to pick up the cat. Oh, thank you, Rebecca. Thank you so much. That's not surprising that Rebecca would want them. <laughs> yeah, I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. I have these really... I think really pretty rhinestone earrings. I don't know if they're vintage. I don't, I don't think they are, but I could be wrong. I really need to get something to hold jewelry up better. I'm going to try this. Let me see if I can do one at a time. Um, they're kind of in this leaf design. Oh, that, that's not working very well. There we go. They do have a lot of sparkle to them. They are, they're pierced. And on the back here, they have a gold tone. But from the front, you just see the, the rhinestones. They caught my eye because they were so glowy. Those are sparkly. Sparkly. There's no wear on either one of them. And I assume these are their original backs. They're just, um, you know, one of the pushback. I just think they're really, really pretty. And if the brooch is coming back, shouldn't sparkling big earrings come back? I think they should. I think they should, too. <laughs> they're going to be $12, number 32. Yeah, you could put them on your collar, Angela. Remember in the 80s when we used to do that? Or I did, at least. On your jean jacket? Yeah, or just your collar. Kind of like the Molly Ringwald thing, you know, she would wear. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. You can make it into a sweater clip. Yeah, you could totally do that. Belinda's going to pick those up. Okay. Thank you for letting me know. Okay, I think this is pretty stinking cute. This is a dachshund. Uh oh. <laughs> He's gold toned. And he has rhinestones on his ears. Oh, this life is not picking up how cute he is. Angela, quit bragging. Oh. Okay. Yeah, Angela, you make me feel old. Uh, it's you feel jeez. I was graduating from high school when you were born. <laughs> so was I. I graduated eighty nine. <laughs> I did too. I didn't realize that. You too. Yeah. Well, 
What'd you say, Kathy? I said I graduated in 76. I'm really old. Are you, you do not look your age. Kathy looks young. <laughs> you do. You're beautiful. I, okay. This I is really? Wow. I'm trying to get this guy to pick up. I'm so sorry, y'all. That might not okay. happen. Okay, Britt, we don't need to know that either. <laughs> what, is Britt like 25 or something? Yeah, she she, she was born in 89. <laughs> oh <my>. Thanks, Britt. <laughs> <laughs> and Gabby, you're right. And Kathy does not look her age. Okay, so this is oh, just a cute... <laughs> I hope well, you can, we can see. We can both be Britt's mom easily, so. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> and I do believe he is mid-century. At least I can hold him by the tail and kind of give you an idea how, how big he is. And he's going to be $18, number 38, for the adoption. If, if you were born in the same years that we graduated from high school, then there's going to be like an extra fee on whatever you buy. 10% because <laughs> you're young and you. <laughs> <laughs> Angela's going to pick up the dog pen. Oh, okay. Thank you, Angela. I'm sorry for this awkwardness. I don't want to miss anything. Okay. Gina, your turn. All right. Well, maybe. Oh, sorry. What'd you do? And Britt, I wanted to tell you, I saw the video of your mom on roller skates. Oh my gosh, I was having a heart attack the entire time. Did y'all see that video that she posted? No, was it today? Yeah, no. it was amazing. She's like amazing. dancing around on these roller skates and stuff. I was sitting there going, that's awesome. I'm like freaking out going, oh my gosh, I would have already busted my rear end. <laughs> <laughs> Martha, you're not older than us. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, if y'all didn't see that video she posted, make sure you go see it because it's amazing. All right, so I have this brooch here and I hope it shows it's so hard to show some of these, you know. I'm going to get my paper out again. I actually have a piece of paper instead of my water bill like last time. But <laughs> in between each one of these, there's little rhinestones. And I don't know if you can see that or not. It doesn't show up well on my camera, unfortunately. But there are like little rhinestones in between each one of those. That's that is pretty sparkly. That's awesome. It's very 80s. Speaking of 80s. I think it is. And it's like silver tone, you know. It's a pretty good size. Like, I'm going backwards again. Not that you can see it on this design, but, you know, it's about this big. <laughs> but I was thinking you can wear it, you know, it's designed to wear like this, but you can wear it like a teardrop shape. Or you could do it like an eye almost, you know. Mm -hmm. But... I just thought it was really pretty. And it is going to be $8, number 29. And guys, make sure you have notifications set for us, if you know, and subscribe to us because Kat and I are talking about going live sometime very soon in the near future and doing a jewelry unboxing from the stuff that we've gotten like in bags and stuff. Because I've got a bag I hadn't opened yet. It's driving me crazy. So we're going to go live and do it so you guys can join us while we're going through all the yeah. stuff. And let me know if y'all think that's something you want to watch. I think I think you will. But... Yeah. yeah, and if there's anything in there that you like, we're going to offer it up for sale right then. So as soon as we see it, you're going to see it. All right, Miss Belinda, I got you for that. But make sure you've got your notifications. We're probably going to do it on my channel, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. I think we should.
So make sure you've got your notifications set so you get notification because it's going to be very, very soon, like in the next probably no later than 48 hours. <laughs> we yeah, haven't we really come up with the time yet, but it's going to be 24 to 48 hours. So. I think that we're, we're very excited about my my bag is not as big as Gina's, but I don't know. I have no idea what's in mine. Yeah, I haven't opened it. I've been it's been sitting over there for over a week and it's driving me crazy. So I talked to Kat about it today and I was like, let's just do a live unboxing. We can pull the stuff out one piece at a time. You'll see it as we see it. And if it's something you like, you can tell us and we'll sell it right then. Mm -hmm. So let us know if you like that. And uh we'll do it. Gabby so, says do it late. Late night. I could do it tomorrow night. Okay, so Martha, I think Martha's tomorrow night. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, I don't want to do it at the same time somebody's doing something. I don't things. either. But like I said, just make sure you're set to all notifications, and hopefully you'll get the thing. And I'll put something on Instagram too if we're going to do it. Martha, are you doing a a sale? I'm. I, I have no idea what's going on in the community this week. I've been so busy. Brittany said her mom's at the skate rink right now. That's all she does. That's fantastic. That keeps her young, though. I bet it does. Maybe I need to strap on my old roller. Oh, my. No, I don't need to. I don't need to be in the hospital. Okay. So, <laughs> well, I, ain't got time for, I don't have time for traction right now. So. No. I've got Martha. this little cat planter. Oh, Go ahead. You can talk. No, I was just going to tell Martha I don't want to do it if she has a, a live. Oh, that is so, so cute. cute. It was a uh, hobbyist piece. Okay. I was just reading chat. Sorry. But it's a little cat planner. And she's got a little bow on her head. And she's got her head resting on a pillow. Uh, she does have one little chippy right here on her ear. But you could take like a little black marker and fill that in. You wouldn't even see it. But I don't try to cover stuff up like Salvation Army does. I show it to you. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole other red if you haven't seen that video. Anyway, it's a cute little cat planter. And the bow. it's about this big. I like the little bow. I thought that was so sweet. It's like, it looks like a little homemade bow with stitching in it. But she's going to be, because she's got that little chippy on her, she's just going to be $6, number 27. And like I said, you could take just a Sharpie, a black Sharpie, and go over that, and you would never even know it was there. Mm -hmm. But I don't try to cover stuff. I try to show it to you. Same. I try to make sure everybody knows anything wrong with anything. In fact, like on my eBay stuff, I'll get feedback from people sometimes going, it's better than you described it. I was expected to be so much worse. I was like, I don't want you to be surprised. I'd rather you be, you know, surprised in a good way. <laughs> That's good. Okay, that was my second item. I'm oh, sorry, okay. I was reading in. Okay, Miss Kathy. Okay. I figure out what to do next. Okay. This is different than what I usually sell, but I just picked this up <clears throat> recently at a yard sale. And it's it's not vintage, but it's made to look vintage. And it's this really pretty comb and mirror set. I thought it was really pretty. It looked really nice in your dress. Yeah, it's beautiful. Sure. So it has the comb. I don't think there's any markings on it, so I don't know who would make it. But I thought it was really pretty. So for this set, it's going to be $10. And it's number 88. Want something pretty on your vanity or dresser or in your bed, wherever. Ten dollars eighty-eight. And then the next one, let's see. Uh, this is Avon again. Avon calling. 
And this is milk glass, and it's a little soap dish. And I don't know if you can see it or not. Oh, let's see. It's actually an owl. Can you see it? You can, oh, there you go. Oh, oh my gosh. <gasps> oh, that's cute. I've never Are seen you? that. Can you see the little eyeballs and the little beak in there? Yeah. Yes. That is so you cool. That tool is on a pedestal. I didn't realize it was Avon when I picked it up. There's a lot of things that Avon has done that really surprises me. But I know. I feel so the same. Yeah, they, they really have. So this little milk glass uh, Avon dish, it's going to be $10. And it's number, oops, number 87. Ah, just when you think you got it, you don't. <laughs> I know. So, you know little owl face. There you go. Oops. So hard to see, but there he is hiding in there. It's got a really pretty pattern all the way around, kind of like a scalloped edge. So if you're interested, here you go. Hey. <laughs> Cat sneaky. I can't I can't pull up chat on my phone. <laughs> What's that? It looks like Calypso Antiques Cat wants that. For 87 number 87? Yes. She put 86, I think, but oh, you know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think she meant 87. <laughs> Thank you, Kat. You got it. <laughs> it's yours. Thank you, Kathy. We really do have the same taste. Thank Be you. careful, Thank Kathy. You. I don't sell the back. She's a shady character. <laughs> well, I was going to say, I heard she's kind of a bee. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I have an owl to show, too. Oh, surprise, surprise. <laughs> I know. Amazing. This is an amber owl. And I guess he was oh, some wow. sort of jar. What do y'all think? I don't yeah, think yeah, he's you know it. I just got some little tiny ones. I, I don't know if you saw my um, my haul video, but little tiny blue ones. And they're actually <sighs> mason jars. And really? All different yes. I wonder if these are like the same uh, oh, manufacturer. It is it is flashed. I can see kind of on the back. Uh, I'm not sure if you can. That's great. Wait, see, Kathy? Guessing. It keeps happening to us. Huh. Oh, I mean, we just find the yeah. same things. We have them. This happens to us all yeah. the time. Um, well, now I can't I, even see it. Okay. Oh, go ahead, Kathy. I couldn't hear you. No, I just said I'd never seen one big like that. Mine is really tiny, almost like a salt and pepper uh, shape. I think this is the first time I've ever seen one like this. Okay, if you look back here a little bit, you can see where it was flashed. It's really hard in this light, and I apologize. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess it is bigger. I haven't measured it. I guess I could. This is the ruler I used to spank Gina with. Yeah. Um, it's about six inches tall. And about three inches wide. But it doesn't it doesn't have a lid, so but I think that Kathy's right, it's probably a mason jar. I just think he's really neat. Very unique. And he's gonna be five dollars number forty seven. You could put some fairy lights in him, and that would be cute. Oh, yes. Yeah. Pretty. Of course, I don't have any handy. Did I just see that Brittany got 100? Yay. Yep. I was insane. just going to say, anybody, I know, I don't think uh, Kat has an issue with it either. I know I don't have an issue with people dropping their stuff in the chat. No. If any of you want to post your links. You can do that whenever you want. Yeah. We're all family here. Mm -hmm. And Angela should post her merch. Okay. Angela, be quiet. <laughs> uh, she, J Jose is asking if a regular lid would fit that. That looks like a regular size lid, like a I, ball size. Probably. Um, it is three inches across. Okay. Have any um, lids, so I'm not 100% sure, Jose. I would think so. <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah, you heard me book. <laughs> Dean, drop your link, baby. Put your link in the chat. Yes, Dean. And book, do you do content? And I don't I missed if something if you're not feeling well, I'm sorry. I I'm relying on StreamYard's chat and it's not <laughs> the best. Okay. This next item is a 10, and I just thought this was really cool. It has different um, Native American designs on it. And on the back, okay, so this is for beef jerky. I don't know the age of this. It kind of looks like the 70s to me. But this is the original Indian recipe beef jerky. Um it says Collins, no, what does it say? Original, oh, original Indian recipe here too. But it says Dallas and this place is no longer open or I've never seen or heard of it if it is. Does it have a barcode on it anywhere? Nope. No barcode. So that means it was what before 74? I believe that's right. I think it's 74 was when they started to put barcodes on everything. Mm -hmm. It's early 70s anyway. I know it's early 70s too. I, you, you're probably right about 74. If anybody knows in the chat, let us know. But I, I just think this is really cool and it's so colorful and you could use it as a display if you wanted. It's pretty clean on the inside. Sorry if I'm blinding anyone. Um, there's a little bit of wear here on the bottom, but it's kind of underneath. I just think it's really cool, and I had to get it. And it is going to be $8, number 57. I love tunes. I know I do too. Especially, you know, you need Okay, back to Gina. All right, Angela, you paying attention? <laughs> I brought this out just for you. So I have a napkin holder. It needs some cleaning, and I'll kind of clean it up a little bit. I don't, I don't like cleaning old stuff because some people like it, you know, that patina look, whatever. So this is a made in Japan butterfly napkin holder and all this is metal and i could clean it up and get some of that off but some people like it so i try not to do that it was made in japan it's an a price import japan it's still got still got a sticker and then it's got japan right right there it's about this big i like it because of the blue and the green because you know <laughs> when i see this color i'm automatically drawn to it don't mm -hmm. know why it's your color. That's my color. So I ran to it. That's pretty. I've but never seen one nice like that. Little, it's a nice little, I mean, they give you a little pop of color in your kitchen. But it is going to be $8, number five. And then... I have, set that down, this little stick pen. All right, Angela. I got you for that, honey. I thought you would like that. I know you like the uh, butterflies. And then I've got this little stick pen. Let's see if I can show it. It's got like... It's almost got like a brown hue to the little pearl up there. Like that kind of taupey mm. color. And it's wrapped like in this kind of flower looking thing. This gold tone. It is a stick pen. And it's got the kind of um, bottom of it that you have to like pull and it kind of suctions on there. And I didn't look at it for any marks or, you know, maker's marks or anything. I just got this. So, but I'm trying to give you an idea about how big it is. I thought it was really pretty. I mean, the the stone in here, at first glance, you think it's kind of like a, 
a whitish color, but when you actually look at it on some white paper to show you, it's got that little bit of that taupey color to it. Maybe you can see it on here better. I just think it's so classic. Like a mm -hmm. solid colored something or whatever, it would just be beautiful. That was the color of my wedding dress. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> it was. Oh, wow. I would love to see pictures of your wedding. Of you. Yeah, the rest of the people weren't important. <laughs> <laughs> You know how it is. The bride is the most important person there. But anyway, it was, it's going to be $8, number 26 for the stick pin. And that was my second item. Belinda, number 26. Thank you, honey. And... You're really going to like that, I think. I thought it was gorgeous. So don't you be yawning now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. My next item is going to be this little turtle um, trinket box. Oh, my gosh. I saw that in the video, and I thought it was so cute. He does have a little rhinestone missing, just one. Because these are, all, it's hard, hard to even see on here, but those are all little rhinestones all along his shell. Oh, all wow. Along the side. And there's this one here is missing. Oh, let me see. Right there, there's a little tiny one that's missing. You can hardly tell. It's even hard to see the rhinestones, actually. That's open up if I can figure out how to do it let's see oh I know it opens. it's kind of weird um oh it opens like this but it's really what do you put in there it's so shallow you know what I mean it's like this the show part is the part that's deep so I just thought that yeah. was kind of I guess you Maybe. could put oops you could probably put a ring or something in there I guess Yeah, I was going to say only a ring would really fit in there. That yeah. He's really cute. There's no markings on him, so I don't know who makes them. <clears throat> I don't know if it's vintage or anything. But I just thought he was just super, super cute. And this one is going to be $8. And it's number 75. So $8 for this cute little trinket box turtle. Number 75, if you're interested. Can you imagine somebody giving you a ring in that box, though? That would be amazing. It really would yeah. be. Would be. That would be. That's a great idea. So whoever so, wants to buy me a ring, go ahead and get that box so you can send me the ring in that box. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, oh, and the next item, I forgot what I was going to show, is this little pig. It's like Book B Witch wants number 75. Oh, okay. Hey, well, thank you so much. I better write that down or I will forget when I lost my pen. Yeah, a turtle <laughs> ring. That would be amazing, Annie Christie. I love that idea. You're thinking like me now. How are you doing, AK? What was that? Oh, I'm sorry. I was saying hi to Auntie Christy. Oh, okay. Hi, Auntie Christy. Anyways, I have this blue um, teal or teal colored uh, art glass pig. It's got little applied glass feet. Tail. I don't know who makes them. It's funny. When I try to do comps on them on eBay, um, people put Murano. It's not Murano. I know that. But um, he's super cute. He kind of almost looks like a watermelon, doesn't he? Yes, he um, does look like a watermelon. I think he's so, awesome. He's so cute, though. Gina so would this, kill him. What's that? 
<laughs> oh, I, I had a pig last night and Gina lived on a farm and <laughs> so there were jokes about it. Sorry, Kathy. Oh, that's okay. No problem. 86 or $12 number 86. He's heavy. He's a really heavy guy. You know what, Kat? What? That pig would match the owl I sold you a long time ago. You know it would. <laughs> I love that owl. <laughs> I think that's the first thing I ever sold you, Kat. It is. Oh, wow. And that's I was cool. so excited uh, with Gina's package topper. I even loved that. <laughs> So those are my two items. Okay. I swear, Kat, we're like a little old married couple. I remember the first thing I sold you. I remember <laughs> like our first you. date. <laughs> I think it's sweet. It's endearing, right? <laughs> I swear, it's like when we're texting back and forth, I'm like, it's like we're in a relationship. We're like, hey, honey, how's it going? Yeah. Are you doing okay today? And at night when we go to bed, we're like, good night. Love you. <laughs> it's awesome, though, because it's Gina gets me. But actually, we're ridiculous. I think we all get each other. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> This is my Wonderland lot. Well, it's actually two separate things. But I, this is so cool. This is from 1974. And it is a recipe book for jams and jellies. But it has... That's the, amazing. Look at the Elf in Wonderland theme. I think this is so cool. I love that graphic. I'm trying to find some really good pictures in here. Uh, you know, there are recipes for strawberry and... And peach jam but just the artwork is so cool good night Angela if you're still here well, well good night Angela I hope you get some good sleep I just think that night, the illustrations are so cool um, and like I said it's just recipes for different jams and jellies it's 30 pages. It'd be good for junk journaling if you if you wanted to do that. I think the pictures of Alice are wonderful. Oh, there's like a castle on the back, too. That's kind of cool. Or it'd be good for making jams and jellies and sending me some. Yes, you could send it to all your friends. <laughs> oh, Gabby's going to pick it up and send us jams and jellies. Thank you, Gabby. <laughs> Gabby, you know your daughter is welcome to send us something anytime thank yeah. you anything edible would not be turned away <laughs> okay and then keeping with my alice theme i have this is a big golden book and it, it is pretty big oh i love that i saw that i think it's i love the art um it this is a reprint it does have a little bit of issues um it's still together, but it is a little loose down here. All the pages are intact. Oh my gosh. Look at Alice in the tree. <laughs> with the stuff like that. Yeah, I was looking. It was copyright 1951, but this is a 1973 printing. So it's still pretty old, but look at, oops, I'm going the wrong way. Look how cute that is. It would also be good for journaling. Yvonne said yesterday that we're not allowed to cut up golden books, but there she is falling. I just thought this was really cool. Um, each page has, you know, these big illustrations. Pretty cool. Alice in Wonderland has always been my favorite fairy tale and see how it is a little bit loose in here. So because of the issues, it's gonna be $10, number 50. Again, it's still, you know, all together. Just, just to, to display. Yeah, 
for sure. You could even take some of the illustrations out and frame them if you if you wanted to. Well, Belinda thinks that's a good idea, so she's going to pick that up. Okay. Thanks, Belinda. I think you'll love it. Okay. Back to Gina. All right. So I know this is not that, like, incredibly old or anything, but when I picked it up, I was like, that's just a cool idea. It is, like, an antique Victorian style. So I just... I was like, somebody needs this. I don't know who, but somebody needs it. But it's a birthday book and address and telephone books inside. But I like, you know, the florals on it. And on the back, they have like the roses and everything. I just thought it was beautiful. And then it's got this little ribbon closure. You open up, it's still new. Nobody's ever used it. And on the inside, you've got, on this side, you've got your birthday book. So you can keep up with everybody's birthdays. And on this side, you've got your address and telephone book. And I just thought this was fantastic. But, I mean, just look at the pages. I mean, you could use it for junk journaling if you wanted to. But these are the pages inside. They all have these floral designs and all this beautiful butterflies. And all the pages are different. But you could cut the flowers out and the butterflies and use them for something else. If you didn't want to use it, you know, as it was mm -hmm. purposed. But just look at that picture. I mean, it, it's gorgeous it you can is. make your own like cards with this like card stock and put this on there mm -hmm. you can make your own greeting cards with it i just thought it was really pretty and i couldn't let this sit there and grow dust on it so i'm doing it for six dollars number 17. i gotta tie it back together but six dollars number 17. Christina, hello, my friend. Debbie, it does not shock me at all, honey. When I saw that number pop up with you next to it, honestly, I thought of you when I saw that book. <laughs> I said, that looks like Debbie. <laughs> and I mean, there's tons of pages. If you wanted to pull it apart and use it for something else, you could. All right, and then I've got... My last milk glass for the night, for y'all that are bored with milk glass, is um, these Westmoreland. Again, it's like a great pattern, but it's two of the uh, footed tumblers. Hopefully you can see that. There's no chips or cracks. They're in really good condition. They're this size. So pretty, Gina. But there's two of them. And this is like textured, not that you can actually see it on my camera. And then you got your leaves and your grapes. And it's got the little tendrils coming off of the grapes and everything. Really pretty little set. You don't have to use them as tumblers. You can put little air plants in them or, you know, whatever you want to use them for. You can be creative with it. And that's one thing I do like about milk glass. You know, it's got a bad wrap, but... It's versatile. It's a white background. You can do anything with it. You can put colorful plants in it. You can put pins, you know, whatever you want to throw in there. Or like some people are doing, they're putting their bracelets and stuff on these kind of things. And this is about the right size to put things like that on. If you put your earrings in here, put makeup brushes, whatever you want to do with it. Just be creative with it. Mm -hmm. Put it in your kitchen and put something coming out of it, you know, some utensils or something napkins whatever or put them on the table when you're having a picnic and put your forks and knives or your forks and spoons in it you know yeah that's cute i'm doing this uh two of them for ten dollars number 21. and you know with uh fourth of july coming up very soon you could decorate this up for your red white and blue for sure Oh, Christine. I didn't see her come in. Christina. The two Christinas want it. <laughs> <laughs> but I got lilac first. Thank you, honey. And that was my second item. 
Okay. Uh, by the way, guys, we're also talking about when we're going to do our red, white, and blue sale. So be paying attention for that to come up very soon as well. Oh, yeah. And if y'all have any preferences, let us know as to what, what day. Yeah, we want to do it pretty soon so that we can get it to you in time that you can actually use it mm -hmm. for Fourth of July. Well, hi, Sue. Okay, Kathy's turn. Okay, uh, okay, let's see, what do I want to do now? Um, I have another little kitty cat. It's a little tiny one. And again, it doesn't have any markings on him, so I don't know who makes them. I thought he was cute. He's showing Is he up. bisque? Um, no, he's he's glazed. Glazed. He's really shiny, and he's a gray color. He's like a little um, tabby cat. He's got the sweetest little face. I think he's getting washed out in this light. I don't know how to stop that. Um, hmm. It's hard to do that. That's good right there. You can see him pretty good. Mm -hmm. he's, he's, he's gray. He has a little stripes on him. Little pink in his ears. Adorable. Perfect. No chips or cracks. And this one is $5. Number 81. For this cute little kitty cat. He's not too big. He's yay big. <laughs> Kathy go. needs to get a shirt too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's that? <laughs> uh, when we say it's about this big and we hold it up, <laughs> right. we have a shirt. Hey. That... <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, and then the next item, uh, let's see what I want to show. I'm going to show you another Avon item, Avon bottle this time. I got a ton of Avon bottles. I went crazy at this one yard sale. And, oh, I love, uh, look at that one. <gasps> so cute. Um, unicorn. It is empty. I don't know what it had in it at one time. I tried to clean them out. It's really hard to get that smell out. Um, and I did try everything. But I just want to show you, when I brought this home, my granddaughter says, oh, I love that bottle. But, <laughs> and then she says she had one. I forgot one. And oh, wow. Well. You put food color in her. So you can oh. put any color food coloring and it really, you know, yes. them up. that is such and a that great idea. I never would have thought of that. That's awesome. And this one is going to be $8 and this number is 68. This cute little unicorn. He could be blue or green. They even have something called, um, oh, what is it called? Unicorn uh, dust or something. It's kind of like mm -hmm. little glittery stuff you can put in the water. So oh, that's cool. That's that guy. Yeah. So those are my two items. Okay. That's super cute. Christina G. Thank you. I'm very glad you made it, Christina. And and Sue. And yes, everyone share your channels. Um, Gabby's Etsy store is really cool. I'm proud of Gabby. It's awesome. Okay, so I have a matching set. Um, these are vintage. Thank you. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. I zoned out there for a second. I was trying to reach out. I think I'm just lagging a lot. But um, this is a set, and they are vintage made in Japan. And... There is a sticker on the back of the plate right here. And there's a, a pretty hideous wall hang, a uh, plate hanger. I mean, I, you could use it. I just, I wouldn't recommend it on something, you know, vintage. Maybe if you got a, a better hanger. I just feel like it deserves something better because it's so cute and it's, it's older. And they, they do match completely. Look at the face of this cat. It's so cute. Um, the cup, it doesn't have that sticker, but it is engraved Japan on the bottom. And it was originally 79 cents. There's the Japan right there. I 
can't see what store that was, but there we go. And this is, you know, it's just a normal size coffee mug. It's not a giant one like Gina would need or me. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be $13 for the set. Let's see if I can do this. <laughs> I knew that was going to be a fail. $13, number 34. <laughs> it is cute, Belinda. I like the face. Okay. I love that little, little round head. I know I do too. This, these were from the cat house, so there were a lot of cat items there. Okay. My next item is going to be this Bluebird of Happiness. And this one is signed by Leo Ward, who, who did most of these. Belinda couldn't hear the number on the last one, honey. Oh, I'm so sorry, Belinda. Let me see. Where did I put it? It is um, $13, number 34. Belinda wants number 34. Okay. Thank you again, Belinda. You're going to love that. I know you will. Okay. So this is, um, you know, one of the... I guess you would call this the medium sized. It's not a tiny one and it's not, you know, the bigger ones. Um, it's got a really pretty blue color to it. It is signed on the bottom. Let's see if I can make this happen. Not sure if I can get it to show. Maybe you can see it towards the bottom. Leo Ward, 1988. It's down here. No, it's it's hard to see it. Um, it is in good shape, but it does have a little ding on the nose right here. You can't really tell from looking at it, but I I can feel it. And you know, if you're looking at it from the side, you, you can't really tell. I know it's hard to tell because the, it's shiny and there's a glare on it. Uh, but because of that ding, I'm not going to charge a high price. It's just going to be $14, number 42. It's still really pretty. I mean, like I said, you can't really tell. Well, those little bluebirds have such small beaks on them anyway. Mm -hmm. Belinda Maybe. wants number 42. Okay. Thanks, Belinda. You will love it. Okay, going to Gina. I need to read about what's going on with Sue. Now I'm worried about Sue. All right, so I have crazy hair. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I have this cute little crocheted lamb. I love this one. He's got a little flower wreath around his neck. I just thought he was so cute. Pretty good size. His little ears. <coughs> Excuse me, my allergies are getting me. I thought he was just a precious little thing. And he is going to be, oh, my goodness, my allergies, guys. I don't even know. He's going to be $6.00. Number 22. So anybody needs a little lamb in their life. And then I have. Okay, so thank you, honey. I have this set of doilies. There's one, two, three. Four. These are all handmade. And there's purple. 
it's green on the like in the middle part and this like mottled ombre kind of purple stuff on the outside part with the white trim. And there's one, two, three, four of those. Now they're not exactly the same size because these are handmade. So there may be a little differentiation by an inch or whatever in each one of them. But there's four of those. And then there's a coordinating um, like rounder petal shaped flower shape, what do you want to call it, that goes with it. It's got the green on the trim with the white in the center and then that mottled purple stuff. Very cute. On the outside. But there's four of these and then this one. So I'm going to do all of these for an amazing price. I'm doing all five of these for $8, number 24. That's awesome, Gina. Yeah, I paid more than that for them, but I'm tired of the stuff sitting around my house. <laughs> yeah. I'm accumulating a lot, too. I know. It's like I've just got to start getting rid of stuff. So I thought you might like those, Miss Christina. <laughs> it's a poiple, wasn't it? <laughs> and that was my two items. Okay. And so Thank you, Christina. Sue, I'm, I'm sending you hugs. I did not realize that. I'm so sorry. Oh, my gosh. Anyways, okay, I'm back. Um, <laughs> oh, boy. Um, I have gal and I lost her. Oh. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm blinder than a bat right here. <laughs> what about this? I am I too, have, don't worry. I have a here, and I've been wanting one of these for a long time. I've seen them before. She's kind of big. She's a vase, a lady vase. Oh, wow. Seen her before? I guess she's like a flower vase. I Whatever think so. Want. I've never seen one like that. She's pretty cool. It's um, Bella Casa. Susan paid me by game. And I'll show you the bottom. I've seen these before. But, oh, is it? Oh, hello. <laughs> but um, I thought she was kind of cool. Little flower. She has a little um, ribbon around her neck. She's glazed ceramic. She's all hand. It's got little uh, hands on the sides, little flowers. So this scale is going to be twenty dollars and number seventy-four. Okay. She's really cool. She's cool. Crazy lady. Uh oh. Oh, I keep getting. Oh no. My battery's going low. I keep getting these messages. Uh oh. So, okay, so that's for her. And I'm going to show you my second item. Yeah, I don't know how long that'll last. Um, um, and Kathy, then my. I'm sorry. It looks like Book is trying to get our attention. I, I think I missed something. Book has a request for the unicorn. And then. She's quoting The Who, which now it's in my head. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome book. Yeah, Debbie um, wants to be built for him. Oh, okay, book. gotcha. For book. Yeah, so that's okay. that all. You don't disappear okay, from so me, I, book. I'm having lag really bad. I had to refresh it and then... Um, got better I think so okay, where am I? oh okay so the next item I have is this little elephant base there's little elephants on it and it's kind of I don't know if these elephants have a basketball is that kind of weird you know that's funny thing? unless Maybe. it's some kind of I don't really know but I thought it was different 
Yeah. Maybe. It, yeah. I guess it. It's, well, uh, hmm? I was going to say maybe circus, but, maybe but it doesn't. <laughs> maybe they're Indian oh, elephants. <laughs> I just, love that. It's just marked in the bottom with that PV8 dash mm -hmm. or 06, I guess. It's not glazed on the bottom, but it's all glazed. Their trunks are obviously up. So you get one, two, three elephants on there. And that's $8 and it's number 67. The little elephant base. I think it is. <laughs> I love that. That is a strong Majolica colors. Yes, it is. And you know how it's bamboo behind them. So I'm wondering if they're, you know, Indian elephants from in, in India. I don't know. Be, very well be. Oh, that's bamboo. Christina that from Christina Lilacs. Uh, 67. Oh, yeah, that would go with her decor. Yep. Thank Very you so much. Cool. That, like a tiki mug type thing, huh? Maybe, possibly. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Thank you, Christina. It's very cool. Hey, item. Okay. Hey. Okay, guys, do we have any horse people in the house? Any what? Horse. Oh, horse. No, horse. The, okay. Not, not horse. <laughs> we got you and me as hoes. Well, yeah, well, you know. <laughs> oh, oh, so we're starting a club. <laughs> Sorry, Kathy. We get like this especially late. Um, this is a home co piece, and look at the bottom. It looks brand new. I think this is so cute. It's a, a mare in her foal. And if you look at her blaze right here, it it's like a star. Let's see if I can get it a little close. I didn't know that Home Co., you know, had that much detail, but I thought that was really cool. And I love the, the face of the little the foal looking up. Um, there's no damage on this at all. And see, I think Homeco gets a bad reputation for. I, I think the work is exceptional on this. You know, most of their pieces that I've picked up and looked at, they are so detailed and so really nice. It's mm -hmm. like, I think this kind of starting to make a comeback too, though, because if you look at that stuff on eBay, the prices are starting to go up on it. Are they? You know yeah. what? The, it's probably because they're from the eighties. You know, yeah. Well, from the bottom here, um, the 80s are definitely coming back. It, this is a larger piece. I did measure it. No, I didn't. I lied. Let me measure it's it. So for big. <laughs> it is about that big. It's six. It, it's about <laughs> six inches long and about five inches tall. So <laughs> I'm not saying anything. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> and this is going to be $18 number 32 I just love the star and her her blaze I see Martha likes them too I, I really I like them as well I pick it up all the time. I really like it. I do too. And it usually sells pretty well. Yeah. For me. I thought if this crowd didn't like it, I was probably going to keep it for myself. I, I've gotten really bad about that, y'all. <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> so he says, now freaking Tommy says it is about that big daily around the house in conversation. <laughs> That's all. okay. We need to send him a shirt. Yes, for sure. That's okay, Sue. <laughs> okay. Now I have a fairy lamp. I have the amber stars and bars. It is heavy. 
I'm not, I have that one. <laughs> I'm not breaking it, I promise. I want to get the, the light on so you can see it. I hope you can see it. It's kind of hard with the amber, I bet. Now you can see it. I just think it's so pretty. This is the stars and bars. I have one of those. I put it out during um, the holidays um, in the fall. In the fall, yeah. So yeah. I, I have one. Rotate things, but I have so much stuff. I know. I have to rotate things, That's too. I love amber glass, so I have amber out all year. Um, you know, and if you haven't seen one of these in person, they are pretty big and they're, they've got a good weight to them. They're really well done. And I'm just doing a flat price on him. Gina and I have been doing that on our, our fairy lamps. It's $25. Oh my goodness. Number 31. That's an awesome price. Dean is asking if it glows. Well, let me try. I do have my. I, I haven't checked the amber. Uh, you know what? I found that amber dish that glowed the other day. So this might glow. I'm not sure. And you know what? It's also Indiana glass, I think. Let's see. Mm, I don't see a glow. Do y'all see a glow? I don't think it glows. I'm not seeing it from here. No, no glow, Dean. I could try the top too, but I don't think so. Jose says that she has amber that glows peach color. That's kind of cool. That's really cool. Yeah, the candy dish I found, I was shocked when I found out that it, it glowed. It's in great shape. There's no chips or scratches. <laughs> Unless I scratch it right now. Um, it's Christina happy. is going to get, that was number 31? Uh-huh, yes. Christina Taylor. Oh, cool. Thanks, Christina. Christina with a K. <laughs> okay, and that was my two. Back to Gina. Yeah, you guys need to. You do need to pick up, even though it's amber, and you're thinking, okay, fall, whatever. Well, fall's going to be here before you know it. First of all, that's so. I mean, we're already in June, and you, before you know it, it's going to be Christmas time. So, you need to go ahead and pick them up now when you see them. Plus, amber is making a huge comeback as well. Mm -hmm. If you start going in these thrift stores and start looking around, you used to be able to pick up the amber, like the uh, king's uh, crown. All that stuff, cheap, cheap, cheap. Now, the prices have gone through the roof. Amber is making a comeback. So, if you oh, like it, you yeah. better grab it while you got a chance. Because I started picking up Amber Glass when I see it now because I've noticed the change in prices. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like gas going up. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jean. I didn't mean to cut you off. But, Christina, you can type in the chat. I can put in a tea light for you if you want one. I got a few. So let me know. Yeah, the prices will go up closer to the holidays, too. You're right. And, yeah. you know, just like I was saying, it's getting harder to find because people have started. They've gotten that affinity towards that amber glass now. And so it's getting harder to find in these thrift stores. So I pick it up when I see it. But. And it's funny, it's happened like in the past like two or three months because I was going in thrift stores and I was seeing amber glass everywhere. And there's a small one I go to, a St. Benny's over here that I go to. And they had a whole display case full of amber glass. And I went back in there like, you know, a month later, it was all gone. And it had been in there forever. Wow. All gone. So, okay. So, what I, this next thing I have is not vintage. I just think it's cute. So, you know what happens when I think something's cute? <laughs> it's a fat little Scotty dog. Oh. He's chunky. 
I mean, he's playing why. I'm sorry, Kathy. I couldn't hear you. Yeah, I didn't hear you either. So he's not that old. He's more of a contemporary modern piece. Um, I just think he's okay, cute. I have to run and go get an extension for it. Okay. I okay. Get, you get back or? Yeah, if you're not back, then I can go and then we can go back to you. I'm still here, me. So he's about this big. Hmm. I just thought he was really cute. He's got some texturing for his fur, you know, that kind of thing. Again, it's a piece of white glass or ceramic, I guess. A piece of white ceramic. So for like on your shelves or whatever, if you got a lot of colorful stuff, he's good for a backdrop for that to play off of. Plus he's kind of whimsical. You know, I like whimsical. So he's going to be $10, number six. I think he's cute. Yeah, he's just fluffy. He's big boned. <laughs> he is big boned. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have. A set of six of these depression glass, and it's the yellow. I know it's hard to see. Let me get my paper so you can see it again. That still doesn't help much, does it? <laughs> I'm trying to show you the pattern on there. I can see it, Tina. Okay, good. But it's the yellow color. I did check it with the black light. I, it doesn't glow. See? Mm -hmm. But um, there are six of them. There's no chips or cracks or anything. I can hold the, all six up in a stack for you if you want me to. But um, And they're kind of like, I guess like a dessert size. Dessert plate size. They're about this big. But they are that real light yellow color, the depression color. And I forgot. Are they patrician? I think they're patrician. But maybe you can see. Oh, the pattern? Yeah. There's so many of them, it's hard to say. I know. I think you might be right. I remember the um the loop loopy. Yeah, uh, what is it called? Um, and it's got like this, not a floor to leave, but you know, like the real scrolly looking stuff around mm -hmm. the edge there, which actually shows up better without the paper behind it, apparently. But anyway, I have six of those. Oh, in excellent condition. It's a whole stack of them for you. And they are going to be twelve dollars number one. That's a good deal. Yeah, it's a real good deal. For six of the yellow depressions. And let me set those down without breaking them, hopefully. <laughs> no, Dean, they don't glow, honey. I checked them. And that was my two. Okay. I'm sorry I'm missing so much chat. I, I hope that book is okay. I, I missed that. I can't scroll very far back, but. And I do see, and I agree with Debbie, you can never spread too much love. I, I truly care about all of you. And I, I know that Gina feels the same way. And it looks like we lost Kathy. I think she had to, did she say get an extension cord? I think. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I'm leaning over, guys. So the next item I have is this grape decanter. She's back. Let me get her back here. <laughs> so those are not ferrets on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, Kathy. 
too. No, I was like rushing. It, it died. It actually died. Oh, no. Well, you got back pretty fast. Um, I'll finish my round and then I'll go right back to you. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Okay. And so this is a decanter. It has um, a screw top here. I just think it's cool. And since Kathy showed how she filled that unicorn with dye, how cool would that be for this? Yeah. Like maybe maybe a light purple or something? Just food. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Golden grapes. Um, I didn't measure it. it it's about this big. <laughs> I honestly don't know what was in it. It is hand blown. It does have that on the label here. The name of the manufacturer is Toscany, T-O-S-C-A-N-Y. I'm sorry, I don't want to blind y'all. And the decanter is going to be $10, number 55. And then my next item is a pig. <laughs> there have been a lot of pigs the past two days. I have this cute little bisque pig. And I think he's left in. He had a sticker at some point. But I, I researched and there were some bisque pigs from left in that, that looked like him. Let's see if I can get his face in there better. He is so cute. He's kind of looking up. And he has a, some fur texturing on him. He has a cute little pigtail. Cute. I love this little guy. And he is $8, number 33. There, I forgot to say, but there's no damage to him. His face cracks me up. Okay. And and Kathy, I will go back to you. Okay, thanks. Sure. Okay. Now wait till you see this cat. Is it a pig? <laughs> I was not a pig, but I, I just cracked me up when you had that home go piece. Oh yeah. Cause look at this. Oh my gosh. This is home go to. It's um and it's it a mom and a baby. It says masterpiece porcelain by home go. Wow, I think yours is fancier than mine. That's so pretty. Pretty. Yeah, this mm -hmm. does have one two on it. I still bought it because I just thought it was absolutely beautiful. I know a lot of people like deer. I love deer. Mm -hmm. um, one of the little flowers, and it's this one right here, has a little tiny chip on it. One of the little petals has come off. But it's, you can, it's hardly noticeable. Yeah. I mean, the deer, the bait, like you said, the detail that these home go, um, that they do on these items are just fabulous. I just absolutely love this and the thrift store where i bought that this um they had a bunch of them i only picked this one but they had all different kinds of animals they had um uh, squirrels they had raccoons they had quite a few mm -hmm. on the pricey side so i only got the one <laughs> right but, um there i never seen them before and it was just funny that you happened to have the you know similar one <laughs> so anyway. we're connected somehow <laughs> So anyways, this one is going to be $20 and it's number 70. Gosh, I, I was just gone for yeah. five minutes if I had to do this. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You, it looks oh. like real fur. I mean, it's so well it's done. So, so pretty. Now it's, mm -hmm. it is kind of bisque type, I guess. It's really kind of rough on top. I guess you would call that bisque. I don't know, but it's just so well done. Very nicely painted. I mean, look at the details on the face. Mm -hmm. Absolutely beautiful. So, 
So there's that one again. Um, $20, number 70, if anyone's interested in that. And then, um, oh, I see Debbie. Is that right? Is it Debbie or Belinda? Um, I, Gina, do you see? <laughs> I'll have to. I see Debbie first on my end. Okay. Okay. Thanks so much, Debbie. And um, I'm going to go with a little, another Avon. I have a lot of Avon stuff. I used to sell Avon back in the 80s. I think it was the 80s or early 90s. Oh, wow. So this is the little squirrel pin. And this is a pin. It has that, like that little um, thing that screws, I guess mm -hmm. you call it. Right. Would this be like a tack pin or I don't really know what you call that. I don't know what they're called either. Um, I think maybe it is tack. I bet Belinda knows. I don't know if you can what see are that. they called? I know what you're talking about though. Oh, that is adorable. It has like a little pearl in it. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can show it on this. It's a fabric here. So it's all gold, gold tone. I don't know if that's showing up. I can I can see it. Pretty good. It's really, uh -huh. it's really cute. It's really I see cute. That. He's on a branch. His his tail is little has a little texture on it. And this little guy is going to be six dollars. And it's number ninety nine. Six dollars ninety nine. So cute. Okay, that's my two items. Okay. Gina, do you want me to go back to you? I don't care. It doesn't matter. I'm ready. I can wait. It doesn't matter to me. Um, I'll go to you and then we'll go back to me and then kind of go in that order. Okay. Okay. Um, Kat, tomorrow when you text me, uh huh. Remind me to get half and half. Uh oh! Did they drink it all? No, but I'm I'll have enough for my coffee in the morning, and then I won't have enough. So, oh, well, I need to get it while I'm out tomorrow, please. <laughs> I told you we're like a married couple. It's we like are. can't remind me what I need to buy tomorrow at the store. <laughs> Ridiculous. Okay, anyway. <laughs> just just to interrupt you, I keep doing that. I'm sorry. They're talking about meeting in Atlantic City. I'm so down. When is this? I don't know, but I'm going to make a GoFundMe. Yeah, I, I probably would have to do that, too. <laughs> Unless Belinda could come get me. Or, or maybe Kathy could come to Dallas. Belinda could come get me and Kathy, and then we could come get you, <laughs> Gina. Well, I don't know if Britt's still in here, but you could pick her up on the way, I guess. She's yes. in Georgia. Susan, uh, Susan, you're in Georgia too, aren't you? No, Sue's in Jersey. Sue's in Jersey. Wait, who's in Georgia? Somebody. Britt? Sally? Maybe it's Sally's in Georgia. I don't know. Anyway, somebody's Dean's in Georgia. Dean's in Missouri. I forgot about See, that. Britt's in Georgia. I know you're close to Atlanta. So, Britt, you go ahead and make a bunch of baked stuff to take on the trip. <laughs> and y'all don't eat it all before you get down here to get me either. <laughs> y'all get down here. No, we didn't have anything. <laughs> it's like, mm -hmm. All right. So, um, I have these two. Um, again, I guess they're like a dessert size. They're not saucers. They're bigger than that. I would say dessert or small salad or bread plate, maybe. Uh, I only have two of this pattern. It's got the grapes in there. I'm going to put the light on it so you can see it because these do glow. Dean, these do glow. Um, they got like a grape pattern, which is hard to show without the light up. But when I put the light on it, you'll be able to see it. Hopefully. Oh, Wow. That's a good glow. Yeah, it's got a good glow to it. 
These are really nice. But can you see the grapes? Yeah. The grapes right there. Then it's got like these uh, leaves and like a stem kind of thing going around. But they do have a nice glow to them. And these are about this big. So you get some idea. <laughs> I don't glow. <laughs> But I'm going to do the pair of them for $8, number 11. So there's two here. $8, number 11. That's a good deal. So there is that. Let's put that to the side. Dean, okay, sir, I have you for that. And then, <laughs> y'all might think this is a little creepy. Just saying, you may think it's a little creepy. I don't know. But just know that going in. <laughs> it's my pig friend. Oh. <laughs> Gina. <laughs> what is oh. up? Okay. Oh. Good night. Brittany, good luck with your shot. I'm going to check on you tomorrow. Oh, good night, Brittany. He's got a little tail. <laughs> the tail. I don't know if he's part of like the, you know, the three pigs kind of thing. I like his expression and his little teeth in there. Look at that. <laughs> And his bow tie. Yeah, he's got a bow tie and a little polka dotted shirt and overalls. He's got a little basket. Now there is a maker right here. So I think this might be a you know a collectible piece, but I can't read what the maker says, so I'm not going through all that. There is a maker's mark right there that's like etched into it, but I cannot read that to save my life. I even looked through the loop and I can't read it. So but I'm Soon. blind. You need to show that to Thomas, Sue. What? <laughs> Just this, I don't know. He's, he looks kind of haunted, too. How does he look haunted? He's just a piggy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a devil hog. Uh -huh. <laughs> He's a razorback. <laughs> he looks like awesome. a vampire pig. He's got his eyebrows. Look at him. Well, you know, when I saw him, I fell in love with him immediately. <laughs> he would buy he's that too. <laughs> Look, he's beautiful. That's hilarious. But he is just ten dollars, number fifteen. <laughs> His How can you pass that up? He is perfection. <laughs> perfection. Book be witch. Aha, uh -huh, see. She knows. She knows. <laughs> Look at that. Where is Cher? Is Cher still here? Yeah, she's right there. Okay. Cher. Oh, that's. All right, I got you for the pig. And you're going to love him just like I do. Belinda. <laughs> Don't listen to these haters. <laughs> but that was my second item. <laughs> okay. I can't help it if they don't have good taste. My next item is this hand blown clear glass elephant. need to pick like items that are clear glass to do more during the day sales because this light in here is just no good. There we go. And he does have like a gold trim around his ears and he is on a base, just this glass base. And it's kind of got a greenish bottom. I don't I don't know what originally was on the bottom here. 
but I think he's really cute. And he's another trunk up elephant. He's pretty good size. He's not, you know, tiny. He's pretty big. I just noticed he could be used as an ornament. He does have a, a little slot right there. I did not notice that before. The things you figure out when you're on StreamYard, I, I tell you. <laughs> I never saw that before. I think he's just really cute. And he is $10, number 56. That's why I don't look at myself on StreamYard. I keep seeing all the crevices and stuff in my face. It's like, okay, just don't look that way. Now I'm going to have to look at myself. Great. <laughs> <coughs> Okay, and then my next item, this is a little different, and I'm not sure if this is something that everyone would be interested in, but this is a mid-century modern ice bucket. It is from England. It has some old felt here on the bottom, but it is Cambridge Ware is the name of the company that made this. It is, it is all wood. I don't know enough about wood to tell you what the different woods are. But I think this is just really cool. It's nice. There's a lot of work that went into this. Um, it's it's great on the inside. It has like a, a cork uh, top, cork bottom to the top. Um, there's no wear on the top at all. And the inside, you know, has this plastic lining to it. It's in really, really good shape. I could see this like in Don Draper's, you know, bar or something. I think it's really cool. And I don't think That's I measured not... it. It is... With the with the handle up, it's eight inches tall, and it is about seven inches wide. And that's another thing. There's no rust or wear really on the handle at all. I'm not sure what metal this is. Did I scare y'all? <laughs> Scared myself. Um, but the ice bucket is going to be twenty five dollars, number fifty eight. Okay, so now I'll go back to Kathy. Okay. <laughs> I'm looking at the my iPad and I forget that it's delayed, so I, you were still on there. Um, oh, yeah. Okay, the next, <laughs> item, next item I have is another, another Avon bottle, because I got tons of these. This one is supposed to be like a Sherlock Holmes hug guy. That's cool. It's like a pipe, but it's a little pug. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see, maybe this way. I wish it wasn't so bright. Hmm. Oh, is it a dog? It's a dog. He oh, has, okay. It's like a little home dog. He's got a hat on. Oh and my gosh, so cute. Mark, I wish that light wasn't so dark on bright. Let me see. It's so hard. If you have a, like a book or something, you could put behind it, maybe. Oh. That's too bright. Um, oh, darn it. Let me see. Get things out of the way here. Does that, does that look work better? Can you see it now? Yeah. I can see it better now. It's cute. That face. That's, I know. He's got that angry. <laughs> <laughs> so but cute. The Avon. It's a little bit late now, but I thought it'd be really cute. Uh, Father's Day gifts, but I don't know. I think oh, yeah. Father's Day is coming. I don't know if that's this weekend. I just lost my little, my little thingy. Let's see, this is it. I lose mine all the time. Let me see if I have this right. Um, okay. 
So this little guy is going to be ten dollars, and it's number seventy-three. For this pug pipe bottle, which is really different, I had never seen one of these before, and now actually I have. Hmm. So that's. Yeah, I went to a yard sale, and this lady. I mean, I think she said she had like three hundred bottles. Oh my gosh. Hundred. Um, so she she, I guess she was a seller too. <laughs> She has, she just collected over the years, over many, oh, many years. Wow. And she was moving out of her home. And so she was just selling everything. So um, she said, oh, yeah, I'll give you a good deal. She, I didn't buy them all. But she said, if you want to buy them all, I'll give them all to you for, um, I think it was $150 or something. I said, oh, no. So I'll just pick out a few. So, <laughs> wow. And then this I picked up at a thrift store. And I thought this was just amazing. Well, I love art. And this is all, actually, it's an old butter, Mrs. Butterworth bottle, you know, the mm -hmm. syrup bottle. And it's all, somebody redid it and hand painted it. Oh, wow. The detail in that. I just, I just thought this was just amazing. All the work that went into oh, it. Yeah. Somebody did a this, lot. Yeah. A there's lot. no way I could do that. This is actual lace on the bottom that they <laughs> painted over, I believe. But look at that. I just thought that was That's amazing. amazing. Isn't that amazing? And they actually made it, it they made it into a little bank. Oh, how cute. Put your money in there. Can you imagine painting all of that? Oh, I like can. all the dots? Yeah, there's and it's signed in the bottom. I can't read that, but it is signed. Huh. I thought that was just so cool. And then I looked up on, uh, tried to find comps on this. And a lot of people actually do these. This one is really well done. Um, mm -hmm. If you look at this, there's a lot of them. Um, all, you know, no two are alike. But this one is going to be $20. And it is number 72. So if you want to put it in your kitchen and put your deck in there, your yeah in there, for $20, number 72. I had no idea people were even doing that. I didn't either. I didn't either. This is the first time I've seen it. I tried to look it up. There's a lot. And uh, like I said, I have, I have never so seen one like that. I haven't either. I haven't either. But this one is really well done. I mean, she was really, whoever made this is very artistic. This is lace here, too. It's hard to see, but it's actual lace. Mm -hmm. And just the deep that. Look at that face. And all those little tiny, tiny flowers. You know, it's at first I thought it was decoupage, but it's not. It's actually hand painted and it has a little bit of a texture on it. It's kind of, um, you know, the paint texture. Wow. But anyway, wow. Yes. Was right. <laughs> <Item. laughs> okay. Okay, guys, I've got a couple of pieces of jewelry next. Um, this is a brooch, and it is a gold tone brooch. It has these really pretty pearls on it. It's kind of got this swirly design, almost like peas in a pod in a way. That's what it reminds me of. I think it's really pretty. There's no mark. Making sure. But no, there's no mark. There's no damage on it either. It looks like from the way it's positioned here on the back that it's supposed to be up and down, but you could certainly wear it like that if you wanted to. I kind of prefer it this way, actually. And it is a pretty big size brooch. And it is $18, number 57. I'm sorry, 37. What was the number on the um, painted lady? Oh, um, 72. It was 72, but. Oh, good night, Sue, honey. Good night, Sue. So book put in 72, uh, Kathy. 
Oh, thank you so much, Book. I got you. I'm going to have to go back and read chat because I know I'm missing a bunch of things I want to know about. I saw Katie say thank you for your storybook, so I, I'm going to have to go back after we're done and read it. Okay. And then my next item, I'm not sure if you will, if you guys will love this as much as I do, but this is a pin instead of a brooch. I'm going to call it a pin because it's got the, the back here, but look at this. It is the state of Texas and it has the Texas flower and bird here, the blue bonnet and hummingbird. And this is definitely vintage. And I think it's really, really pretty. I'm hoping the details are, are showing. It's got um, a gold outline and this really pretty blue color. It's funny, I've lived in Texas all my life and I, I was like, oh, I didn't realize our, our bird is a hummingbird, but it is. I can't remember the exact breed of hummingbird, but I thought that was really cool. And this pen is $10, number 35. Okay, back to Gina. I don't know how you ladies do it. I'm sitting here reading the chat like captivated. <laughs> I'm telling you one thing. I was in one relationship where the guy was like crazy and everything. And he like stabbed the edge of my bed, like the foot rail kind of thing, the wood with like a knife. He's, I was like laying in the bed. He was like stabbing it. I got up and picked up the computer and threw it at him. He left. Wow. And then I went and got a nine millimeter. So I don't have that problem anymore. But I don't know. I give it to you. You guys handled it the best ways you could and all that. And God bless you. And I'm so happy that you're safe now and alive and here to chat with us. And I love you all. And if you ever want to talk to somebody, like I told Sue, I got two good ears and I'm here to listen. So anyway, just to let you know, you can hit me up on email or whatever. If you need my number, call, you know, let me know and I'll give it to you. I'm here for you. So on to something cute and cuddly. <laughs> now that I've been all. Yes, because I am a little crazy, but that's OK. People know I'm crazy, so they don't you're, mess with me. <laughs> you're good crazy. I think everyone here is crazy. <laughs> Crazy. I've got this little flocked puppy, little Sharpe. Oh. And he's actually a bank. He's got a hole in his head. <laughs> he's got the stopper thing on the bottom. But I just thought he was cute and precious. I wouldn't necessarily even use him for a bank. I would just have him sitting on a shelf, probably. But I thought he was really cute. And surprisingly enough, he's not that dusty. You know, that's flocking stuff. It can like hold that dust in, but he's in pretty good shape. And he's got like the little plastic eyes, I guess. And no, uh, no, his nose is flocked too. But he's about this big. And he's just six dollars, number two, for a Katie, little flock sharp pay. Katie wants to pet him, and so do I. <laughs> I know, Katie. <laughs> that's I'm sitting here like. <laughs> He's like my he's like my support animal. I'm petting him the whole time. So there is that. And I have got this bowl, which I have not even researched. I have a feeling it's worth a whole lot more than what I'm selling it for, but you know what? It is what it is. Um it's this glass and it's got this red like splatter looking glass on the inside of it i'm not sure of the maker somebody that had it before 
put a sticker or there's a sticker on the bottom. I don't know if they put it there or if it was already there, whatever, but it says made in Romania and it has the rougher pontil mark right there. And it's got the tool marks on the bottom on the base. I just think it's really pretty that red in there. Hopefully you can see it. It's got like the ruffled edges. Really good condition. It doesn't have any chips or cracks. And it's about this wrong way. This big. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> Knock myself out. <laughs> <laughs> but I just think it's beautiful. I mean, the way I'm showing it, you really can't even tell. But it really is a pretty, pretty piece. I can see it, Gina. That's beautiful. I thought it was just gorgeous, but like I said, I'm not sure who the maker is or anything like that. Some of you glass people probably know better than I. But I'm doing it for $12, number 20. That's amazing. That is beautiful. And uh, Katie, I want to show you something really quick. I'm not selling it right now. But I just want to get your an idea from you while you're here. <laughs> I'm going to use you a little bit. But, um, well, if I could find it, I would. Okay. I picked up this record, and it's in a frame, and I want to see what you thought of it. It's the turtles. Hopefully, you can see that. I know the glare is horrible. I apologize. But you're my record person. <laughs> so I haven't taken it out of the frame. This is the way I bought it. And I just didn't know if it had any value to it. It's a picture disc. Okay, is it an actual record though? Like is there music on this or is it just like decorative? I guess is what I'm saying. It looks like there's lines in it, but I know nothing about this stuff. But when I saw it, I, you know, I thought of you. I was like, oh, I need to contact Katie and see what she knows about this. <laughs> they should play, Gina. I have some pictures. Oh, yeah? Yeah. But I'm sure Katie knows a lot more than I do. Yeah, I know nothing about this stuff. Turtles were rock band in the 60s and 70s. Okay. Yeah, I, I just wanted to show it to you because I don't know anything about all this stuff. And I've got a ton of vinyl that I need to get in contact with you at some time. I know you're busy all the time, so I don't want to bother you. But I've got a ton of vinyl that I've picked up that's like, I tell Kat about some of them, but then I've got some more that's like Patsy Klein and all that. I love Patsy. So <laughs> I grew up listening to Patsy Klein. My mom loved Patsy Klein. I love Patsy too. You need to get a record player, Gina, and um, keep some of those for yourself. I'm just saying. Well, my daughter's got a record player. Now, whether I'll ever get to use it, you know. Oh, I didn't know. That's cool. Oh, yeah. You know, because for that age, vinyl's huge now. Oh, yeah. Like, the newer groups, like she listens to Cave Town. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, like three years ago, she started asking me for vinyls. So. Yeah, my niece is all about vinyl. I gave her some of mine. Um but it's, it's been coming back for a while. Yeah. This, that age group is, is hot for them. They love it. Yeah. And like, anytime I go to a sale, she goes with me like in the States or garage. So she's over there going through all the vinyl. So she's kind of purged some of them. I guess she's not a Patsy fan, but I was like, Ooh, Patsy Klein. I may have to keep that because <laughs> that's what I'll, I'll sing. Pat, I can't sing. But I'll sing Patsy Klein a lot of time because I remember growing up listening to that because my mom loves Patsy Klein. I love Although she also loves Conway Tweety. Conway Tweety. I know. You know Tweety. how many times you know how many times I had to go to Tweety City growing up? Oh my gosh. Yeah. I'd rather go to Dollywood any day. Well, I didn't have the choice. So, you know, <laughs> yeah, I was just drawing a long <laughs> between. <city. laughs> I was like, can we go to Graceland? <laughs> oh my gosh. I love Graceland. I've been there twice. Uh, 
<laughs> no, he wasn't. It was no. Uh, there was no choice for me. It was just like <laughs> get in the car. We're going. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Although I had like she'd buy me all those little shirts like when I was little from Tweety City, and I was like, man, I wish I still had those because they probably have some value now. Yeah. But, <laughs> <laughs> Who knew? So, I, I just bought a Tweety, um, not Tweety. What do you call it? What's his name again? Tweety. Conway Tweety. I bought an album, and the only reason I bought it is because it was a Christmas album, and I love the graphics on it. Um, I saw that. I, I watched your thing about that. But then it was empty. I thought the album was in there. So, but I only bought it really for the cover, anyways. So, I thought that was a cool like, cover. Wasn't that a cool cover? I thought so too. Mm -hmm. Kat, did you see that? It like opened up, so it's like a whole scene. No, <laughs> uh, we're talking about Conway Twitty. Uh huh. No, it's I, like one of his Christmas albums. It's got him sitting in the sled with the little Tweety Bird and all that. <laughs> I like Willie and Patsy and Johnny Cash and Waylon. That's about it. Willie me. and Waylon. Heck yeah. yeah. Highwaymen. I so, can get down. I can get down with a little Bocephus too. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and hey. Hank Sr. Oh my gosh, I loved Hank Sr. growing up. Little kid, loved that stuff. That's cool. I'm all about, but you know, I'm all about CCR. I love Credence. Oh, I do too. Rick, I like them. Rick's band plays a lot of uh, music. Music you would like for sure. But I like all genres of music, so I do too. I like jazz. I like classical. I like rap. I like everything. Yeah, I do too. I even like the hard rock. Oh yeah, you know. Me too. That banger music. <laughs> yeah, Gina really yeah. does. You ought to see my. <laughs> you ought to see my Amazon playlist. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's all over the board. <laughs> it goes like. Michael Buble over to like the prodigy, you know, it's like yeah. completely separate sides. <laughs> just depends, like, am I in a cool, just relaxing mood when I want to hear some nice music, or am I like wanting to drive like a bat out of hell and listen to like some <laughs> music? So, <laughs> I have a playlist. It's like angry driving playlist. <laughs> yeah. I have that and like working around the house playlist. Mm -hmm. that's Cooking. Yeah. <laughs> that's a very short playlist because I try not to do too much of that. But, you know, <laughs> it's like, okay, I got 30 minutes. If I can't cook it during that time, it ain't getting cooked. So. <laughs> oh, yes. Jose, of course I know ELO. I haven't oh, seen them God. live, but. I saw them live probably in the 70s. Oh, my gosh. That's awesome, Kathy. You saw them at the best time. You guys were just babies. <laughs> <laughs> or even though you were born yet. Well, my favorite genre is the 70s, for sure. Or, I'm sorry, my yeah, favorite is the of music. I, I like the 60s, too, though. I'm sorry. I'm zoning out. I'm reading Katie's. Jethro Tull. Yeah, Dean. Yes, Dolores the Kinks. And hi, Dolores. Oh, I'm not on the screen, but I'm blowing you kisses. <laughs> Whose turn is it? I'm sorry. I've got yeah. more. Uh, it's either it's yours, yours or Kathy's. I can't remember now. <laughs> okay. I only have, okay, I have three left. Isn't that a weird number? But I can, I can find more, I'm sure. <laughs> it's funny because what I have left is music. I have this really, this is so nice. This is from 1921 and it's Irving Berlin. And it's all by myself. I love this illustration i mean look at her look at her 1920s amazingness her hair and her 
dress and her shoes. This is in really good shape. Um, you know, for being a hundred years old, it's a little bit loose, but it's still together. I, I don't want to put too much pressure on it by holding it up, but it sounds like me. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, well, this is me. Look, this is Gina. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, this is so cool, though. It has the address. Yes, Belinda, we're still selling stuff. We took a little break there for a second. <laughs> oh, now I can blow kisses to Dolores. That's one cool thing about doing these late nights. We get to see Dolores getting ready for work. But look at, I, I just think this is so pretty. And it's Irving Berlin, you know, so it's classic. Look at the clock. My grandparents, my great grandparents, I'm sorry, I had a clock just like that. I just, I love the colors in this. It is so cool. And this one is $8, number 44. Look at the moon. The first time I've noticed that. I guess I should hold it back. It's cool. I love sheet music. Okay. Then I have another one that's not quite as old. It's still pretty cool. Um, this one, I think I wrote it down on the back. This is from 1947. And this is A Tree in the Meadow. And I'm so blind, I can't see it on the screen. Oh yeah, this is Tony Pastor and his orchestra. I'm not familiar with him, but this is also published in New York City. I think most sheet music back in the day was. I love picking these up for the graphic. I just think they're so cool. Sometimes there's more than one song, but this one is just a tree in the meadow. And this one is Five dollars, number forty-seven. I think I said that wrong. Five dollars, number forty-six. Okay, and back to Kathy. Hello again. Okay. This next one is a sunfish, I think, or angelfish, maybe. Oh, I love him. I think, well, I think it's an angelfish. I'm not angelfish. Sure. I think. I, I think he's so, I just love the way he's painted. You know, that like airbrushing uh, paint. Mm -hmm. uh, there's, there's no markings on the bottom, except for a note again, somebody wrote on it. I get all these things that people write on. And this one says, too small for navel. And it says, released in canal, which I thought that was kind of strange. Uh, but somebody must have had a fish that they released in the canal somewhere, probably in Florida. <laughs> I don't know. But um, probably, one, most likely. Does, <laughs> um, you know, I used to live in Florida from the ages of seven to 14. I, I lived in Florida and I remember the canals. Yeah. What Where part of Florida? Um, it was the outskirts of Miami. It was uh, called Cutler. Ah, Bay. okay. Yeah. And we had a canal right um, in our neighborhood. It ran right through the neighborhood and, um, yeah, you know, we used to actually go swimming in the canals back then. We didn't have a problem with the alligators like they do now. But anyways, it has a tiny, tiny little chip right there. It could be painted over, you know, and then you wouldn't even notice it. Or you could turn it around and you can't see it. But I thought that was really cute. I really like that. And this one's going to be $8. And it's number 85 for this cute little fish. Sun, or I keep saying sunfish, but I think it is an angelfish. So that's my one item. And then, uh, let's see what else. 
That was something really different here. <laughs> if anybody's interested in this noisy thing. But this is a, um, I guess it's a cowbell. I don't know what other kind of bell this would be. It's brass. It's really noisy as you could hear. Um, is somebody wrote on there, or I don't know if that's was on there. It's R O R O S. I don't know if it means anything, or somebody just wrote on there. It has this little bohemian uh, hanger. So if you want to call your husband in for dinner, it's a perfect bell. <laughs> that's awesome. And um, this is ten dollars, number ninety-three, and it is quite big, quite large. You know, I actually have a bell that I use from my house. It's on the outside of the back door. And when it's time for dinner, I hit that bell because we have a quite large yard and uh, usually he's working out in the garage or something. And if I call and yell at me, he doesn't hear me. But if I ring that bell right away, <laughs> he hears it. It's so funny. So anyways, that bell is $10, number 93, if you're interested. How big is that? It's about this big. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's about three and a half inches and then about the same across. So that's it. Oh, it's ten dollars number ninety three. I was just wondering because that may be a sheep bell. Oh really? I don't know. Oh, how do you tell, Gina? I have no idea. Well, the cowbells are usually a little bit larger than that. Mm -hmm. And just from the uh, the strap that's on it, uh, from the area it comes from, it looks like it comes from, you know, like one of the, um, I'm trying to, I'm, my it brain is like fried right now. It could be I'm the sorry? Netherlands because it could be from the Netherlands. Yeah. I think it's the Netherlands because the person, um, the sale that we went to, uh, the man that lived there, he was from the Netherlands and he had a lot of things kind of like that. So it's possible. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what I'm wondering if that's not Norse written on there, that R O R S, whatever. Oh. I don't know. So I need to look it up. So maybe I'll look it up and see. I have no idea. I just yeah, because it. if that's what that is, huh? I'm going to tell you this now, but <laughs> after you just showed it, but if that's what that is, um, you can probably sell that for a little bit more than that on uh, online. Yeah. Oh, really? Wow. Well, if somebody wants it for 10, they're getting a good deal, possibly. Yeah. Yeah, they are. That's it, then. Because I have a couple of those that are a little bit different. That one is like really, really small. And the one's about that size. And the one I have that's that size, I have listed it for $50 on eBay. Wow. Good, good to know. I guess I should have done my homework, huh? But, but a good deal. It is a nice bell. I'm willing to pass on the good deal. But if it doesn't sell, then I'll look into it. But thanks, Jim. Yeah, you can do a little research on it. Cool. Because I knew nothing about those bells till I got those and I had to do research. <laughs> it's it's kind of interesting that you learn so much doing this. There's a lot of history really and cultural I, stuff that you learn. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. I've learned a lot. Just just watching YouTube, you know, watching you, the yeah. other research. Yeah, I've learned a oh, lot. Oh, yeah. So much. And then, of course, Same. Googling everything. So, okay, Debbie's yeah. saying those are from Germany. Oh, really? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll look it up and uh, see. Who said yeah, that? I mean, it's definitely European. I'm not sure of where, but <laughs> you do. You just learn so very much about everything. I mean, like I said before, you're you're purchasing your education when you buy some of these things, because yeah, you know you go and you start looking these things up that you never knew anything about, and you learn so much and. You know, I'm like an expert on nothing, but I have a little bit of knowledge on everything. <laughs> I, I have bought things from Goodwill for like $6 and thinking, oh, I'll probably get 30 bucks for it. And then I look it up online and it's worth like, I think I sold something. It was like $325. 
that I thought was maybe yeah. worth 30. And I yeah. was just shocked. So you just never know. You never know. So it's, it is good to do research first. I obviously mm -hmm. didn't do that, but, um, but yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. amazing. Like the video I just put out, um, I'm not saying you have to go watch it or whatever, anybody, but I found, you know, I buy a lot of coffee mugs because on eBay, those are your bread and butter items. You can pick them up for 50 cents a dollar and you can flip them, you know, but I just bought this mug and I paid 50 cents for it. And I looked it up. I didn't know what kind of mug it was. I saw it was signed and I looked it up and they're selling for a hundred and over for a mug. I'll have to look at yeah. that video. Wow. So it's amazing. I mean, most of them you're going to get 10, 15 bucks out of, which is still good. I mean, you know, if you sell 10 mugs, that's 150 bucks. But mm -hmm. this one, it was like very unassuming. You would never just go, oh, yeah, that's that's an expensive mug, you know. <laughs> but it's just it was signed and there was something about it that caught my eye and I grabbed it. And I'm glad I did now. Because mm -hmm. I was thinking about it. That's that's the weird thing. I start thinking about it. I'm like, oh, should I get that? And I'm like, okay, it's 50 cents. Come on. You know, why are you being an idiot over 50 cents? You know? <laughs> well, you have a good eye, Gina. That is for sure. Oh, I stumble upon some stuff sometimes. Sometimes not so much, though. But <laughs> I, st yeah. I told Kat, I showed her, I have a... A paperweight that I got this one of the big large like aquarium ones I mean it's probably eight inches across and um I sent you a picture of that didn't I Kat I think I did you did it's and amazing. I found it at the flea market and the guy was like I said how much for that and he goes oh I don't know how about two dollars and I was like yeah I'll take it for two dollars <laughs> I came home and looked it up and found out it's a Murano paperweight and they sell for six seven hundred dollars so I was like Oh, wow. Glad I grabbed it for $2. I mean, I sat there for a minute going, oh, I wonder if I should try to get him down to a dollar. You know, <laughs> I'm always like, man, maybe I should. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I should try to talk him down. I was like, nah, you know, even if it's only worth like 15, 20 bucks, I think it's cool. You know, I hold on to it. But then when I started researching, I was like, oh, wow, this is actually worth something. You just never know. Wow. Yeah, you never but know. That's so true. You got to shop for the things that you like, you know? Mm -hmm. So if you are stuck with it, you're not so heartbroken. You're still happy that you got it. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about that earlier today. I'm sorry. Now I'm reading chat. I have one thing, but if y'all have more, we can keep going or we can go. I have two. I'm sorry. I have two. Um, How many... Do you have left, Kathy or Gina? It's getting late for Gina. Whatever. Yeah. It's two o'clock in the morning. Yeah. I just, yeah. I'll I show like a couple more things. Ends, but... Okay. I'll do two real fast and then I'm done. And then you each can do two or whatever. I hope I'm making sense. <laughs> yes. I'll just go. I just don't want Gina to be up too late. Okay. So I have another right. piece of sheet music. I don't think anyone here is from Tennessee, but I thought this graphic was really cool. My sunny Tennessee. And this one, I think this is from 1921 as well. It is. It has seen better days. There is some wear on it. And it it is a little bit loose on the binding, but I think it's really pretty. I like how they use color in these. <laughs> you know, back in the 20s, it wasn't a lot of color, but I like how they used color on here. I just think it's really cute with the daisies. That's a nice one. I really mm -hmm. Dexter needs to come in. I'll go get him in a second. Um, this is $6, number 45, if anyone is interested in this one. Yeah, do you hear him, Gabby? Your your tiny boyfriend. <laughs> and then I have one more brooch to show. This one I, I know I've shown before. 
It's this purple sparkler. It's really, really shiny. Oh, that's pretty. And it, it's big. It has shades of um, pink and purple and light purple. And it's, it kind of has like a, a black backdrop behind it. I'm trying to think of the term and I can't think of it right now. But in between the actual um, beads, there's black. So it would be really pretty, I think, with a black top. And this pin, brooch, it's a brooch. It's big enough to be a brooch. It's $6, number 41. Yes. That one's beautiful. I like how shiny it is. Well, thank you, Dolores. Okay. I'm going to switch over to Kathy and I'm going to go get Dexter. Um, I, I think I see Belinda first. I see Belinda. Okay. I'm gonna ref well, I'll ref thank you, Belinda. You'll love it. Okay. I'm going to go to you, Kathy, and I'm going to go get Dexter. Okay. Okay. Let me see. Um, I'm gonna show. I have this brooch, and it's not. It's just a simple girl brooch. And this was actually one of mine that I had probably in the '80s. I was. I want to say probably the late '80s, maybe early '90s. I used to wear a lot of brooches back then. I used to work at the bank, and I was fancy and brooches um it's full tone now there is a little bit of um let me see if i can hold that with this behind this big old thing that's a girl it's in the circle that is so pretty yeah. kathy now some of the gold tone has rubbed off on the sides here Um, Debbie wants to pay for the brooch for Belinda. Okay. And Dean, did you want the sheet music? I'm sorry to interrupt you, Kathy, but I just now saw that. No problem. So this one's going to be $6 in December 76. I thought this could even be painted. I mean, it's not too but too noticeable the where it wore off. But like, if somebody wanted to paint it a different color, even. Yeah, you could so, definitely do that. So that's the first one I have, and then let's see what else do I want to do? Um, let's do this little guy. This is another little trinket box. This one's a little funny rabbit. And it's a kind of a funny looking rabbit because you have little like cow spots on him. It almost looks like to me, it almost looks like a guns with a holster, but it's not. They're little spots. And he opens up and you can put your little whatever's in there. <laughs> and there's no markings other than somebody wrote 1998. Oops. 1998 at the bottom. Just a little bunny. Silly little bunny trinket dish. And that's going to be six dollars. And that's number 82. And that's the last of my items for tonight. Okay. Tina. All right, I'm going to back up so I can show this. Anybody that does like needlepoint work, this is for you because this is unfinished. They didn't finish the border around it, but they did all the hard stuff in the center. It's got 
this nice long like rose tapestry thing, I guess, that you would hang on the wall. And they started the border, but they didn't finish it. However, I do have all of the wool yarn that came with it that you would need to finish it with. So I don't know if anybody in here likes to do that kind of work. I mean, you could still use it. You could frame it up or whatever, just get rid of this part and just use the flower, you know, like cut this part off and just use the center part, I guess. But it also even has the needle with it. <laughs> they still had the needle in there they were using. So it's like a full kit for you. And they've already done all the um, flower work in the center. So it just needs the border put around it. So it's all inclusive. I've got your, it says it's wool, wool yarn, 100% virgin wool yarn. Patternayan, P-A-T-E-R-N-A-Y-A-N is what it says on the tag for the wool right there. So you people that know all about that stuff, I don't know about it. But I am doing it for $6 number 16. I couldn't just leave that in the store. I was like, ah. Oh. Somebody put so much work into that, and it's just going to sit there and go unfinished. So I was like, no. So somebody please pick it up that knows how to do it, because if not, I'm going to sit here and try to figure out how to do it, and I'm just going to give myself a headache. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll be screaming at people. <laughs> oh, good, Debbie. You can finish it, honey. I'm glad, because I couldn't leave that there like that. And then my final item for the night, I decided to go ahead and bring him out. Why not? He told me he wanted to come out. Oh, he's coming out. Oh, yeah. Thomas? Yeah. Thomas is not here. <laughs> but he told me. He was over there going, Gina, Gina. <laughs> Pick me up. I was like, okay, got to do it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> oh my God. Nice. nice big voodoo doll. He's so cool. He is made by Spellbound Voodoo Company of New Orleans in 1994 is the date on him. So he is vintage. And like I said, it's got the whole instructions in there of how you're supposed to use him. Belinda says no, no, no. Yes, 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 Belinda. Terry, <laughs> hello, Terry. What, what are you doing up so late? Who's up? Terry Kendall Laura. Don't look it in the eye. Look it in the eye, Gabby. Look <laughs> it in the eye. <laughs> you are getting sleepy. <laughs> but I know somebody is going to love him. And give him a good home because he needs it. If not, you can use him as a feather duster. Hmm. He, he might get mad at that. Yeah, I wouldn't do that probably. But he's got like the Spanish moss mm -hmm. stuff over his arms. Yes. Gree, gree. I think he's precious. How can you not love that face? So... <laughs> Belinda, you want him? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Jose could use it. I could use it. <laughs> so, somebody's going to have to pick him up because I'm about to give you a great price on him. And if you don't pick him up, he might get angry at you is all I'm going to say. <laughs> $8, number 14. Wow. Don't listen to him. It's okay. <laughs> I wish Barb Lee was here because I think she would love him. That's cool. Hey, he's positive too. Here, let me read it to you. You're supposed to stick a pin in his stomach and that's positive. If you stick it in his chest, that's negative, I think. So. Or maybe I got that backwards. 
<laughs> you might want to research that before you do it. <laughs> okay, it's like um do, 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 do. every every morning you light a candle and incense in the heart for good and the stomach for bad. Oh and say aloud three times your desires or intentions. You do it for nine days. And then it's supposed to do whatever it's going to do. <laughs> so for nine days, you do this. And, you know, if there's somebody that you care about and love, you stick the pen where it's supposed to go. Just make sure you know which one you're doing. So you don't get it all screwed up. Dolores, or, you know, so you cool. Oh, really, Dolores? That's interesting. A candy man. <laughs> I can't believe none of you want him. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't take it out on me. I, I tried. Okay. He's going over to look at the names in the chats. Hold on. <laughs> okay. He's seen them now. I, I can't do anything about it. So. <laughs> I think he's cool. Maybe we can be nice. Okay. Dexter, do you like him? Mm -hmm. Oh, Dexter, you want to see him? Dexter's like, oh, heck no. <laughs> Dexter doesn't get scared. <laughs> he would be great for Halloween. <laughs> or Halloween. I'm going to put him out all year if nobody buys him. <laughs> I had to stop into um, who was it? Oh, David's sale today because they had that creepy baby on there, and I was watching, or I wasn't watching, like I was working, and I heard it, like had it on the TV, and I heard creepy baby. I was like, oh wait a minute, I had to run in there and check out the creepy baby. I almost bought it. <laughs> Somebody beat me to it. I nearly got the creepy baby. I forgot about the other creepy baby that you got. I don't know if Kathy saw that with three fingers that went to oh, three finger baby. Cool. It's messy. Didn't up. see that. Was that on your? Were you selling it, or was that is that on your haul video? Oh yeah, I saw. Was it the last sale we sold it at? Yeah. It's not okay. creepy. They think everything's creepy. I have a couple. I do have creepy babies. Do you? I have one. I use her for Halloween. Yeah. We go all That's out for cool. Halloween. We go crazy. My husband, you should see what my husband does. It's just insane. I want to see pictures, Kathy. That's awesome. Actually, you could probably, probably go back and look at my videos. I have a Halloween video on there, I think. Okay, cool. I'll have to check it out. But uh, Kathy's Instagram is amazing. Nice guys. It was last year. Is that what you said? Yes. Cool. This past. Is it? He does like a haunted house for the kids. That's, That's so a lot cool. of fun. Dexter, say good night to Katie and Louie. Good night, Katie. I'm going to be joining you heading towards the bed very soon. Yeah. It's getting late yeah. for everybody. <clears throat> Gabby's trying to bring yeah. up all of my finds. Look at her. What? She's talking about the no legs doll and the yeah. nut doll. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, just because I find unusual things. I haven't gotten anything unusual lately. I'm going to have to go shopping tomorrow and see what I can find. I wish I could go with you. I wish it, we could all do like a group shopping together. It'd be so fun. I need to head on over to Ebor City. I should. I probably could find some stuff over there. Mhm. Mm good night, Christina. Good night, Dolores. Have a good day at work. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Gabby, that's why you're here, honey. <laughs> I'll find some crazy stuff. You want to see crazy? You know she will. Like my. My grandparents used to say growing up, 
Don't bring none of those haints in this house. <laughs> haints are ghosts for the, all of you that do not know. Old South, they called them haints. Don't bring no haints in this house. Oh, so, no yeah. Book, book, I missed a lot of what you were I saying. But, oh, yeah. No clowns for me. I'm bidding on a lot right now and auction lots of clown clowns. Sale, I think I what do you say, Kathy? I'm sorry. Oh, really? I think I'm going to do a clown sale. I oh, you I'm are? I'm going to do a clown sale on Instagram. Yeah, so I have quite a few clowns. Clowns, maybe circus theme. Oh, there but, you uh, go. Yeah, I have some cool clowns. Yeah, if you like clowns. But I have some cool I'm not a clown that, person, uh, but I'd like to I love your Instagram. So I have. What's that? I said I love your I'm Instagram. I'm sorry, there's a delay. I didn't hear what you I love your Instagram. Oh, you. You're welcome. Everyone. Oh, I can't. Thank you. If there's anyone that can link Kathy's Instagram, please do. I forgot about that earlier. Or I guess Kathy could. Belinda seeing another specialist tomorrow. We wish Hello. you luck, Belinda. Let yeah. us know how it goes, okay? Please let us know. And Gina and I will be doing that um, jewelry thing either tomorrow or Friday. Yeah, we got to figure out when we're doing it. <laughs> I'm okay with, we'll talk about it later. Yeah, okay. we'll see you either tomorrow or Friday for the jewelry. Huh? I said, did you order that online or did you go thrifting for it? I went to oh, Salvation Lord. Army and they had the big bag in there in the case. And so I've been trying to get one for a couple of weeks and they keep selling out before I can get in there and get it. And they finally have one. So I picked it up and it's been sitting there taunting me the entire time. <laughs> I got a small bag at an estate sale a couple of weeks ago. I don't think it's going to be as, as much as Gina, but I have some other jewelry that I can show. I have a lot of jewelry. I'm not promising anything with this bag because I haven't, I haven't even been in it yet. So I'm going to open it up live on the stream. And if it's some broken stuff in there, whatever, I have no idea. We'll yeah. find out together. I haven't opened mine either. So, would you tell your girlfriend good night? Say good night, Gabby. Okay. Oh, he looks sleepy too. <laughs> no, he's he's tired. He has such an exhausting life of eating and sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> he looks so much better though, Cat. I know he really does. His medicine has helped him. Book, I'm, I'm sending so cute. love your way. I have to go back and read everything, but and you too, Dean. I I couldn't catch everything, but all of you are amazing people, and I'm glad that we all have each other. And thank you for sharing what you did. Absolutely. And yes, all right. Linda and Debbie, be praying for you. And Brit. Okay. Kathy, thank you so much for joining us. Well, thank you so much for having me. It was a lot of fun. And thank you, everybody who purchased from me. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. I, I like it a lot. It's awkward, and but I it was fun. <laughs> yeah, you you were, great. yeah, you were awesome, Kathy. You did good. I knew you would. Thank okay. You, thank yeah. you. Good night. I love you guys. So nice. I Good night. <laughs> Good night. Good night, everybody. Bye. Good, Good night, Terry.